This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Everybody listening, this episode is brought to you by Audible. Everybody not listening also. That still is, correct. It applies. But mm-hmm. it also, it's also brought to you by Mac Weldon. Clothing. Mm. They love smart design. They love premium fabrics. They love simple shopping. What if that was their slogan? Mac Weldon. Clothing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, nobody's ever thought to, to bring it back that far. Simplify, man. Yeah, that's yeah, I hear okay. what you're saying. Yeah. And the good, one of the good things about their clothing, Mason, aside from the great look of the clothing and the feel of the clothing. The fact that it exists. That's clothing. right. Clothing. It's antimicrobial. Mm-hmm. What's that about when it's at home? Well... It's technical, isn't it? Yeah, in a way. But in a good way. In a good way, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is that it? Is that your... <laughs> I, th- I think so. I can help. If you could, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yes. The way they're put together, it, it's technical, isn't it? See? <laughs> Not as easy as you'd think. But they don't smell weird if you wear them yes. for longer than a regular t-shirt. I feel like with most t-shirts, all t-shirts, you get like maybe a day's wear out of them. Then you're like, got to wash that. Or Some whatever. days I don't even get a day's wear That's out of them. That's what I'm saying, Mason. You're yeah. a big jogger. I'm a big vlogger. You're a big vlogger. I'm a big yeah. vlogger. You know how sweaty <laughs> vlogging is? They get very sweaty. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, they, it's one of those things where all their products, we're talking socks, we're talking jocks. Uh, we're talking. Which un- is American, that's Americans, what you would say, under, underpants that's right. are jocks. We're talking shirts. Do we say jocks? Yes. <laughs> this is not going well. No, it's going, this is the best day we've ever done. <laughs> you might be right. Uh, they're great for working out. Hoodies. Go- hoodies, that's true. Sweatpants or track dacks. Tracky dacks. Depending where Nobody you're from. Nobody says track dacks. Don't try to. No, track dacks is American real. Listeners. That's no, real, it's real, yeah. Not yeah. Track dacks. They're good for working out, going to work, going on dates, just every day of life. And we've actually got uh, a, a, an offer code for people who want to check out their, their store. Oh, what I, I like understand. about them, I like that they're simple and they're clean and they fit well. Mm-hmm. It's just, you want a good t shirt? It's great. That's it. And you can just be like, okay, uh, I want to refresh my t shirt bloody collection. You can just buy, you, bought, you got 10. You know they're all good. That's they right. They all fit. It's great. It's easy. On Colors a, you like on a one. Mm. That's true on a wonderful website. Also, if, if they don't, if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it and they'll just refund you anyway. So mm. that's the kind of people who work over there. The other thing is, yeah, with our offer, you can actually get twenty percent off when you go to macweldon.com and use a promo code Planet. That's twenty percent off. Nice macweldon.com. A promo code. Planet. I'm through to you and you, you <laughs> caught it. Good, yeah, good job. Right. Well, what you've done there is you've edited out the five minutes of you coaching me. <laughs> now remember, when it's I the thing I just said. Your foot. It's, the th- it's the third word in our, the name of our podcast. <laughs> um, is it podcast? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm with the show. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. I'm ready. I'm hydrated. Let's you're do it. You're wonderfully ready, Mason, if you don't mind me saying so. Please so you're wonderfully wet. That's <laughs> correct. Sure. Not incorrect. No, you gotta you got to keep hydrated. It's mm-hmm. important. It's important. I can't get through a bloody episode of this without a big old bottle of water. Mm-hmm. When I went overseas and I went on some panel I thought you were going to say you couldn't get you can't get through a bottle of water. <laughs> no. But you, you force yourself because it's important. I'm at capacity. Okay, you had a story. Well, no, it's not really a story. It's just if you watch... No, it, it's a story. If you watch any video of me, I'm yeah. either waiting for the pauses when the camera goes off me to drink or I'm just drinking the entire time. Huh. Otherwise, I just don't function, Mason. What if it's a drinking competition? I've never been in a drinking competition. For water? I've been in a drinking competition of like alcohol. Uh-huh. I wouldn't recommend it. But water, no, I've never no. done that. But I think I could win. Yep. Or I could place. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Yeah. Should we do the show? I think I could win, given that a water drinking competition is not a thing. And I'll never be brought on to, I'll never be asked to do one. So I think I could definitely win. I bet there's a water drinking competition. Yeah, I like bet there how is. Much water I bet there drink? is. I, get a, I bet I get a tweet from an offended <laughs> professional water drinker. Yeah, they who's do. like, oh, actually, there's a lot of training involved. So, uh, did you hydrate for seven days leading up? I got a, I, t- I made a tweet, like in the early days of Twitter, I made a tweet about. I, I, I saw like a, it was like world championship darts oh, on yeah. TV and they have like, 
don't know if they still do it, but they have this like... This is before this show, actually. Before this show. Yeah. And it was just a tweet. And I had like no followers, so I'm like, this yeah. this will be safe. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, and I made it some disparaging tweet about professional darts because it's like, the, they, it's set up like the professional wrestling. Yeah. Like they all come in to with like a posse. Oh, they got personas They got personas. Stuff. One guy is called, was called like Darth Barry or something like that. Darth and, Barry. I don't know, it was some Darth something and he throws a dart and, and it, they CGI'd it really poorly so it turned into a lightsaber <laughs> as he was throwing it. <laughs> so and that would have like, been like 2009 as something well. Something like that. And I'm like, this combines all the glitz of professional wrestling with the thrill of fat guys playing darts. Yeah. And I got a tweet, I got a tweet back from a dude who clearly was like searching world championship <laughs> darts or something. And he's like, oh, actually, there's a lot of training involved and maybe you shouldn't be so quick to judge or whatever. You know what? I'm judging. Also, shut up. Yeah. Wait, me? <laughs> no, him. Okay. But, but you also. But me, I was going to say also me. <laughs> also, just quickly, our Care Australia campaign is still running. Listen, Mason, it feels like uh, the time of the year and the current state of the world where if you want to reach out and do something good for some people uh, around the world... You could win some prizes. And you can win some prizes. Because there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, Mason. Yeah, but people, there's a lot of stuff that you can win. That's right. There's also stuff you can win. Uh, a lot of our sponsors have jumped on board. We talked about it last week. We're talking Mack Weldon clothing. We're talking... Uh, movement watches. We're talking Mr. Koya shirts. We're talking Mr. One of my We're, yeah, Harry's shavers. Harry's, Harry's shavers. So there's prizes to be won if you donate any amount, any amount of money. There's also some bonus bonds of content that we'll be putting out. Yeah, yes, Claire, we, we said we that. We said that, we Claire. We said that one, Claire. We, we said, said that, that one, too, Claire. Claire. We Who said, said that one. We said them. And they can't hear you, so we're just yelling at nobody. <laughs> For everybody who doesn't know, Claire's individually yelling out the sponsors, the sponsors yeah. that we already mentioned. <laughs> you can't Anyways. even podcast in your own house these That's days. That's right, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh. Uh, we're, I was going to say we're nearly halfway to our goal of $40,000. We're at $18,435.49. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. And that's when the real magic happens. Oh. I don't know what happened. Actually, I've got to make a YouTube video about it, actually. I still haven't done that. That'd be nice. I might give it a little Do you bit want me to be on it? Also. No. Okay. We want to make Good. money, Mason. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> no, you could definitely be on it. All right. Listen. I know last week was the end of Star Wars news. I didn't want Star Wars news. Finally, this is great. No more Star Wars news. No, no, no. We're just reiterating there's no more Star Wars news for a long time. No problem, everyone. You're welcome, everybody. No. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yeah, so basically, there's Star Wars news this week. Oh, but you just said. (laughs) And then I promised all the listeners there wouldn't be anymore. But some people love Star Wars, Mason. I guess that's true. Uh, Over at Collider, it was reported that the spin off movies are on hold, which currently include the likes of a Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. movie mm-hmm. an obi-wan kenobi movie bearing in mind those movies were never announced but they were as good mm. as official uh and another one which was revealed was a moss eisley movie oh like the moss eisley cantina book i assume you know like oh like, like tales t- of scum and villainy yeah and then, whatever and yeah, then all yeah. the assorted what about the pig nose man what's his deal dr amazon he's is the pig nose man yeah he's he's all about uh illegal surgeries and stuff huh That's did he do about. his own pig nose no i think he was uh born with it maybelline that might have been Maybelline, yeah. uh, but I, I, it looks like a scar, doesn't it? I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah. I reckon there's, he did it himself. There's a non-canonical, then a canonical reason, I'm oh, sure. I see, great, yeah. I, I, don't, uh-huh. I don't actually know. I don't like the idea of that movie because get away from that time period. Yeah, I mean, Because sure. I'm sure it would have to be set in that time. They'd be like, what's bloody the band up to? And the, yeah. I don't care. What if it was like the founding of Moss Eisley, the town? So like... Like a lawless... Like a decades prior or like... gives a shit? Yeah. I'm so, great. okay, so just... the founding of the town, you go in and there's it's just sand. Yep. And then people build some huts, some domed yep. huts. Yep. And then there's a bar. I was going to say make it more, even more like Wild West. But then I'm like, what it are people... the Wild Well, that's what I'm saying. But and also, what would, what would bandits be doing stealing moisture? Is mm. that... Yeah. Staying hydrated. Well, that was... That, oh, that's the story of the Obi-Wan comic in continuity. Jabba the Hutt, it's rumoured that because he's taxing everybody, but he's just taking baths. He's just loving life, mate. Oh, he's a big right. old greasy slug. Yeah. Yeah. We never see him take a bath no. in continuity, do we? No, not in continuity. He's never, I'm off No, but this is in continuity, though. It's been, oh, well, that's right. the rumour, and then okay. Obi-Wan stops or whatever. Look, all these movies I don't want to see except the Obi-Wan movie, I hope the lesson that they learnt from Solo isn't cancel the Obi-Wan movie. That's the only one people want to see. Yep. You can cancel the rest of them. A Boba mm-hmm. Fett movie, I don't, I'm sure it can work, and the Moss Eisley one can work. But just just make the Obi-Wan movie. You've got all the prequel fans on board, the kids who grew up on those movies. Yep. Even if you don't like those movies, you like Ewan McGregor in that role. Mm-hmm. It's the only one you need to make. Throw everything out. 
Except what about for that one. Moss Eisley? Mm. But it's like like Sim City. It's like just it's just people building the town and, and then a lot tornado, of, comes lot of in. logistical issues. Okay. How about that? And they're like, where do we put the rubbish bins? Where do we put the public toilet blocks? Oh no, there's a monster smashing up. There's the a city monster. Order. I always hated that game. Yeah. Did you? Were you a fan? Because I'd start and yes. then I'd just be like, I don't, I don't, because I think I had it too young. So I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, this. exactly right. So I'd get a pre made city and then just throw everything. Throw it a monster, just throw or, it a tornado. monster or a tornado. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, he was, I, I would, I, you know, I he enjoy- was the real monster, Mason. Probably this young man. You know what I mean? Not looking after Oh, the you're town. the monster. Okay. Yeah, 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 I get yeah, yeah. it. Um, I liked it for a while, but then it would always get. The townsfolk would be unhappy about something. Yeah, and, you shut know, up. They're like, you, you need to build another rec center or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. I don't have room for another <laughs> rec center. What do I do? And then I just, yeah, tornado. Ma- yeah, tornado that's right. the town. You know what? You've asked for too much. You yeah, pushed me exactly. too far. I was more a Civilization fan. Okay, a civilization. sure. Yeah. I was more of an Age of Empires fan. Oh, yeah. Okay. And a uh, Dungeon Keeper. Nice. But that's, that's hot. neither here nor it's there. It's by the by, isn't it? Yeah. Now, after this report came out, multiple uh, different uh, sites scramble to be like well i also heard something and you know what i heard something about the thing. yeah you're all you're all the best websites do they That's, do you think any of them actually heard something or they who gives a shit yeah but basically that uh some lucasfilm their official statement was that's not true. We're still moving forward with it with stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, who knows whether that's true or not? They'll probably just say the thing that is least controversial. Yeah. I'd imagine. But also, other sides are saying they're actually it's not stopped. It's being reassessed. Right. So they're like, well, Solo made no money, but what if it made some money? Yes. You know what I mean? And what I guess a, a lot of money? and all these websites are sort of relying on that clickbait, like just the idea of. These movies are off. These movies are on. They're off again. Like that yeah, gets people to click. Definitely. We yeah. are the only ones immune to this. That's obviously. correct. We're, we're the only ones giving the, the objective information. And that is, we legitimately don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and one, at least one of us doesn't care. <laughs> Try and guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, I mean, are you surprised that they'd be reassessing any of this? I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised, but I feel like, again, Solo's a blip. Like, yeah, it could like, be. Yeah, it depends what it depends what you do. I, I apparently they're still moving forward with the new series of films. You know, the Ryan Johnson and the, and yeah, the Game of sure. Thrones uh-huh. one. I think that also they they probably should lean into the new trilogy more because a lot of people really. I know that they're, they're controversial to a lot of mm-hmm. people, which we can get to actually. <laughs> a, but a lot of people love those new characters yeah. and want to see you know, things around that exist around those new characters. Yes. You know, people, people like Ray and Poe and or mm-hmm. the other ones or whatever, I would say on the whole. I agree. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think the long form storytelling might be a better way to approach it as opposed to this is 20 years after return of the Jedi, but what if we went 10 years before <laughs> the original? What, why? You know what I mean? Maybe with Marvel, you keep a consistent timeline. Yeah, might be the way to do it. Well, exactly. Except and, for the Obi Wan. And again, there's only there's only a limited anything anything prequely. There's only a limited unless you're going to tie it back into the new stuff. Unless you, yeah. unless you cover a character like who, the dice. Yes. No. Didn't really. <laughs> no, not so much. But like, unless it's a character that you introduce in the past that is potentially long lived enough to then appear in the new movies. Yeah. Then we know that the character you introduce in the past is probably dead, yeah. or has gone, flown off into the the sunset, or what have you. Literally, the sunset. Sometimes, uh, and you know, it's do we are we going to love this character enough? Yeah. In over the course of two hours to get another sequel, exactly. <laughs> even closer to their deaths. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think if it was a Han Solo spinoff movie and it was set five years before The Force Awakens, it probably would have done really well. Right. Because you'd get Harrison Ford back, you know? Oh, that's right. So that was the your original question. So uh, I feel like... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, given the... If I were given the keys to the Star Wars franchise, I would not be worried about... you drop them down the drain. Well, exactly. Then and you'd be have like, to call your dad. <laughs> no, I just, I just brush my hands of the whole deal. I'd be like, well... No more for anyone. And then I'd walk away whistling a happy tune. But uh, I, I'd be like... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons not to panic here. Yeah, I think I will continue forward with again an Obi Wan movie that people would like. But it seems like in Hollywood, if the mo- literally the only thing that counts is the bottom line, they don't go, okay, well maybe it's too close to the other movie. Maybe it's because it was on this particular weekend. Maybe it was this mm. and blah blah blah. They just go, it didn't make enough money. That means this idea is bad, and let's get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, but again, none of this is official. These are 
they're saying they're putting a halt on movies that were never announced. So we don't really know what's what's going on. And you heard it here first. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did it again. <laughs> and maybe you'll hear it again next week. So keep Although listening certainly. in. Like and subscribe. But in the spirit of Star Wars, and there being no Star Wars news this week. Yes. There's more that, Star Wars oh, news. Oh, but you just said. <laughs> and me and the listeners, but mostly me, were very happy that there was no more Star Wars news after that Star Wars news we just heard. I think you enjoyed this Star Wars news, though. And you were here the other day when this kind of popped up online. In oh, its, okay, in, yeah. in its infancy. Yes. And that is a fan... Uh, fundraising campaign to remake The Last Jedi. And fundraising cam- <laughs> campaign is very much in air quotes there. Yeah, we shouldn't even be bringing this up because this is nothing. But it's yeah. it's either a, a very stupid group of people uh-huh. or people or they're liars or this is a scam or it's a combination of all those three things. <laughs> yeah, it could be a combo. <laughs> I've seen could. Ocean's Eleven. It could be a series of different yeah. scams and so fleeces. The idea is, uh, I can't remember the, the, the website... And that's not me not promoting it. You can just Google it. Yeah, it's, I don't sure. care. I would love to see this happen, actually. They want to remake The Last Jedi, and the plan is to raise $25 million, but they already have independent backing. From Allegedly. A, from, yes. <laughs> I should say, yeah. Allegedly, they have an independent backer who, who will, will match. match dollar for dollar. So they're going to take that $50 million to Lucasfilm with a fan-written script and then they're going to ask Lucasfilm to <laughs> for the make rights. it. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, so they're so the, yeah. Okay, they're going to say, "Hey, we've got fifty million dollars. Can we make a Star Wars? Make an official? Because they're going to be, allegedly. Yeah. This is all alleged, and it's incredible stuff because they're going to release it. Release it in cinemas. Absolutely. How they're going to? Are they? Are they? How are they going to get distribution rights? Yeah. And who is this mystery backer? There's no names associated no names. with it. And also, if you, as we we had a look at it last yeah. week, when you say you're, you're going to pledge this amount of money, you don't have to put any credit card details nope. in or anything like that. You can just say that you're pledging up to $10,000. Yes. So And, and, so then, now- and, they, and they emphasize they're not going to take your money until they hit the full amount. Yep. And then, they, and then if they don't... If they take it to Lucasfilm and Lucasfilm say no, they're going to give that money back. Yes. <laughs> if it gets to that point, it's possible. Yep. It's unlikely, I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. You, no one's seeing that money again. No, that for That sure. money is gone. I don't think I mentioned this, Joe, but I, maybe I mentioned it in another yeah, I think you have mentioned it, but you should mention it well, again. Well, anyway, yeah. the one time I, I used Kickstarter, I kickstarted a watch. Yes. And it was like 130 bucks or something like that. And I'm like, I'll, I'll pay that amount for a watch. And the Kickstarter guys who were, who were running this Kickstarter, whatever, what, what do they call it? Uh, I was going to say backing, scam, but that's a, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but scam campaign. Whatever and they, you they, they call were expecting it, yeah. like fifty thousand dollars, and they got like one point oh two million dollars or something like that. Yeah. And then nobody got a watch. No, and I'm not saying I'm not alleging anything in particular. But what I'm saying is, it, there was just a series of blog posts about how everything was going wrong, and <laughs> oh no, this is what a what a bloody oh we 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 tried to make the the manufacturer won't accept our orders anymore. Oh, we had a part that didn't work, so we had to order more, and then it kept going. And then one of the guys is like, "I'm living in a van outside the factory. Here's a photo <laughs> of the van or whatever." And then. They were like, "Sorry, guys, we've run out of money." And then somebody was like, "Hey, I that photo I, of the van is, is fake and this oh. sort of stuff." So what has been alleged is that they were just like, "Well, we just got a million bucks. We'll never get a million no, bucks again." Especially, do you think they have a plan to give anybody yeah, that yeah, money? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, they, but they think, plan to make it. So yeah, you, I think so. Yeah, right. Mm. Oh wow, they're almost to a hundred million dollars. But that exactly. But you can you can individually. Th- this is this is the Star Wars thing. You can individually. Which you. <laughs> so I'm just looking at this Twitter. Okay, well, on. what I'll, while you're doing that, I should say <laughs> that you just when you once we figured out that you didn't have to donate any actual money, you can just pledge. <laughs> You you were like I'm gonna donate a million I'm gonna pledge a million dollars. No, I was gonna donate the the twenty five million dollars. I was <laughs> gonna take it up to the maximum amount. Yeah, right. But you can only download. Uh, you can only donate ten thousand at a time. And if I was a younger man, yeah. if it was ten years ago, I would have made individual accounts all the <laughs> way up yeah. to the to if I had the time. Dollars, yeah. But I'm too old now. Yeah. I can't. I can't do it. But I love some of the responses from people. Like suggestions to make it better. I'm trying to find some good ones here, but they're mm. hilarious. Just like, 
really specific and odd things. What about there shouldn't be any uh, any gravity in space for the bombs dropping or whatever. Apparently that you know in that bombing thing at the start. Uh-huh. Apparently they're magnetized anyway. There's sound in space in all of these movies. If you're yeah. so pedantic about that particular thing, there's a bunch of shit in these movies that don't make all sense. All the movies. Yeah. Again, it, that's the. I just had a conversation with um, with somebody about this today, where it's like, yeah, there are problems with these these latest movies, but there are problems with all the movies. Like the yeah. first the first movie, uh, why do they have to wait till that moon moves before they can blow up? The, yeah, the, the, the what is it, Dantooine? I mean, and there's been just blow th- up the moon. Yeah. If our moon exploded, we'd all die. We'd all die. Yeah, you don't need. To- and I'm sure there's in canon explanations like, well, if they, the Death Star was too close to the moon, and that's whatever. what I'm talking about. I'm sure about. they've explained it. Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, but. It's it's all nonsense. A lot. I mean, there's there's space slugs that live in Spl- on a- space, space slugs? slugs who live in asteroids with no atmosphere. Yeah, and yet you can also get out of the you can get out of your ship and wander around yeah. on the inside of the asteroid <laughs> yeah. with a little mask on. Little mask on. Yeah. So it's just I I, I can't find any of the specific yeah the specific responses of things, but. Like, there's things that I understand where people are like, get rid of the Canto Bite stuff or whatever. Oh, the casino. Yeah. The casino world. But then, like, the really specific stuff is like, that's just a thing that you care about. Like, yeah, nobody. For sure. uh-huh. And there's a thing that's uh, one of the things that I think, one of the comments by this guy is just like, Will, everybody's going to get a, a say in the Ever, writing. Even because, if you love it or hate because it. Because obviously. <laughs> A, you know, writing by committee is much better yeah, that's than, right. <laughs> than one person with one specific vision of how things should be. No, it's not. That's never been the case. <laughs> and there's people are saying like, well, what about the Princess Leia stuff? Because I'd like her to have her, she flies the ship in the end and makes a uh-huh. sacrifice. How, how are they going to do that? And they're like, well, it'll be hard, but we'll make it work. How? Yeah, right. First of all, you don't own any of this. Yeah, for <laughs> Secondly, sure. Secondly. No, they have, they're going to have $50 million, so it's going to be fine. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, this is a scam, so <laughs> I'm really looking forward. I don't to... think I don't know if it is a scam. I just think it's. It might be. Yeah, you, you, you're very possible. Look, I I really want to see this movie though. Yeah. Imagine seeing a by the committee. It's going to be Disney so good. approved. See, that's, yeah, exactly. Star Wars. And I, want, I want my I want my pledge T-shirt. I saved Star. Wars. What is it? I mm. saved the Last Jedi. Something like that. Yeah. Nice. Oh, absolutely. I should have pledged twenty five million dollars. That's right. I can't believe they're nearly at hundred million already. That's so crazy. weird. So yeah. weird. All right, we got to get off this. Okay. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a reboot in the works uh, from Platinum Dune, Dunes. Is that Michael Bay? That's again? Michael Bay again. Uh, Andrew Dodge may direct. He wrote Bad Words. Uh, Do you ever see that? That no. Jason Bateman Spelling Bee movie. No. It's quite good. Okay. And he's also the screenwriter for Space Jam Two, which I haven't seen. Keep on jamming. Lola that can't be bugs. right. I don't know. But it's not out yet. No, but he's the screenwriter for that. Okay. Uh, it's going to be LeBron? I guess. It's like it can't be Michael Jordan again. Why not, Mason? Bring him back, back. <sighs> Good question. You know what I mean? He'd right. retired in the first one and they got him back. Do you That's remember? That's true, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And there was a bit where it was like Pulp Fiction. Do you remember? I do remember you've that. Saw, you've seen that t-shirt, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> pretty pretty rad. Very what do you rad. think about that? Getting back on the, in the, in the Ninja Turtles. Is this dead? Is this done? Why are they... I mean... Uh, I don't know. I still, I again, uh, Ninja Turtles is one of the few properties that I still have some nostalgia for. Mm. So, and you know. didn't mind the last one? No, I quite like yeah, the last yeah. one. I'm apparently wrong for liking it. Yeah, like what you want. Exactly. I, yeah. I didn't mind because I'd heard the the first one of those was really terrible. Yes. And I eventually got around to seeing it on the home release, and, and it was I fine? was like, it's fine. I didn't love it. It yeah, doesn't right. make any sense. I don't like the designs. Uh huh. And but it's fine. But mm-hmm. I really didn't like the second one too much, even though it had every element that you'd think. See, I that's would why enjoy. I liked it yeah. because it was just the cartoon, but live action. Yeah, yeah. And it made very little sense, but it was. I thought it was pretty solid and fun. All in all, they shouldn't reboot it, is what you're so saying. So what? Now, what direction are they going to go in with this one, though? I assume. Yes. And I don't know this that they're just going to make it closer to the comic source material, which would also mean the, the original movie, because the original yeah. movie is pretty much just the first run. Yeah, it's the first. Kevin Eastman, yeah. Peter Laird, like the the hyper violent, yeah. the bloody. It's a great Ninja. comic, as yeah. Well. Before before yeah. it was before it was taken up by Archie Comics and became the cartoon yeah. and all that sort of stuff. It was just this kind of. It's just this bizarre <laughs> daredevil pseudo <laughs> spin off, yeah, yeah, with a lot of blood, yeah, and also in Shredder's killed with a hand grenade, yeah, Shredder's killed in it, and then he doesn't come back, yeah, or ever. maybe he's back by now, and there's different runs in different universes or whatever, but. As far as I know, that version is dead. In the, yeah, right. Yeah, uh-huh. but uh, no, I still think that movie holds up. The first, first. Yeah, one. for sure. It's uh-huh. kind of like 
Batman 89, but good. Oh, come on. Mate. Gotcha, Mason. Oh, That's your favorite no, no, movie. No. Yeah. <laughs> we should watch that movie, actually. I know. That's what I'm talking Not about. Not do a commentary. Just me and you just sit, sit in, in silence. We watch it. Just watch a movie. Great. Wouldn't that it be sounds... nice to watch a movie together, but sit in silence? <laughs> No, nah, it sounds yuck. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. What we talking, oh, yeah. So maybe you think they do you, potentially they could go back to yeah animatronic suits, maybe. Yeah, or a combination. Yeah. Huh? Of yeah, but those suits nearly killed people. <laughs> like back in. Oh, back you mean they the, came to life? Yeah, they came to life. Wes Craven's a new nightmare yeah, style. Yeah. Wow. No, well, they were very heavy and clunky, and it, I think it was the first time. Oh no, sorry, Howard the Duck was the first because you talked about this in the Dugo on one, mm. but the freestanding. Uh, animatronic heads yeah exactly they're so really heavy so they're yeah so mm. they they were the they were the second set of like animatronic suits that were not sort of wired mechanically to like a like a like a platform or, yeah, a, exactly. or a set of wires that are coming out of the roof or something like that they were just like remote operated and mm. standing but as a result they were like massively heavy yeah and probably they probably like pinch at your face that, almost certainly yeah yeah but i remember seeing that as a kid how they worked and it's literally like a like a virtual puppet. It's not a virtual puppet. It's like operating a puppet from across the room. Like yeah, you've right. got your hand in a little sock and you go like this in the <laughs> mouth. Moves. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. Mm. So, no, I think maybe something akin to that. With but some, would, would people go back to Would Hollywood go back to that's that? A, yeah. Well, I think so. Because I think that's the way, you know, the new Jurassic Park has gone back to puppets. You know, uh-huh. like a lot of Star Wars is now puppets and practical. So I think, yeah, I think there's a good chance they would. I'm just not sure that there's an audience for this. I think if they're rich, you'd probably do this for 40 to 50 million. You wouldn't pump in yeah, 150 right. or whatever they did to the uh-huh. last one. Because Ninja Turtles is not the phenomenon that it was when we were kids. No, and it won't be again either. No, it's, yeah. not, it's, not, it's not blowing kids' minds. It's just the sort of... Mm. I wonder if you do it as a, a soft reboot. As in, you keep maybe just the first one uh-huh. and you just follow on from that. And even you just said it in the 90s. Oh, I see. Right, and you just do a do a do a, like you know how Terminator's wipe, which we'll talk about, is wiping everything away, and you know they were going to do a new alien and whatever, just mm-hmm. and the new Halloween, just throw the other ones away. Well, maybe that. I mean, that is absolutely the trend that's the currently. New, that's so, the new thing, so yeah. I think that is very in. That is ninety nine percent. You get Corey Feldman back, and you're bloody cooking with gas. You get, you get Elias Cotius. You're cooking as Casey with gas. Jones. He was really good. He was. He's a great Casey. Yeah. He's way better than the new Casey Jones. I want to be a detective. <laughs> get out of here! You got your own career on TV as <laughs> that TV's Arrow. Get out of here, Stephen Amell. You bloody. You bloody ripped piece of garbage. <laughs> Very nice man. Think you're, you're so good at doing those really specific type of chit ups mm-hmm. that no real person can do. Get out of here. Uh, Creed 2 got a new trailer though. Yes, First it did. trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stallone's directing this one. Yep. It looks like it's in the spirit of kind of your Rocky 3 in a way, like a bit darker, but a guy who climbs to the top, he has everything, you lose your edge. Yep, and you know, and then what do you do? So wait, is this this isn't set immediately after Creed one? I like a few years after. What I happened Creed. at the end of Creed one? He won. He was nice. Creed. Okay, because at the start of this or was trailer, he? or did he? See, that's what I'm saying. Because yeah. at the start of this trailer, he's clearly been beaten to a pulp by someone. Yeah, right. Okay, maybe he didn't. Whether that's whether that's in 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 context of the boxing ring or just on the street. Yeah, who knows? I think you see him in a couple of fights. One, okay, so it's Drago's son as well. Yes, and Drago, original Drago, original recipe Drago killed his father in yes. the ring, uh-huh. played by um, He Man himself. Dolph Lundgren. Dolph, Dolph, Dolph and Lundgren. Lundgren. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who's actually in Aquaman. Perfect, Mason. That is perfect. I hope he plays a dolphin. Did you see his tweet from many months ago where he's like, hey, everyone, my Dolph is short for dolphin. Join me in my undersea kingdom. Did you just <laughs> no. not say that? It's a real tweet. Well, he's a real life genius. No wonder his jokes are so great. That's right. It's a good And joke. it took us months to catch up to his great jokes. So that we're just he's mentioning so far it now. Ahead. Okay. I'm going to look up Creed movie right now. We'll get to the bottom of this. We're yeah. going to figure out how this movie ended mm. this movie we enjoyed but do not recall at all well because it, it, Tessa it, Thompson's back yeah love her she's got um because remember she was making terrible music but she's like I'm making music while I can oh, before I go right. deaf blue, 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 music was blue, really blue, bad blue, 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 I think yeah. you're already deaf Tessa Thompson because your music <laughs> is terrible but uh, she, she's got the hearing aids. Yeah. Though, so Kugler's out. Director Ryan Kugler's yeah, out of this yeah. one. Well, he's, he's in the Marvel Universe and who knows what That's else true, he's yeah. working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what happens to the air, Mason? Okay, let's see. Uh, Conlon won the fight, but Creed won the night. Okay. There Conlon. There we go. Yeah, that sounds right. right. Which is the original Rocky as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so there you go. So maybe he's just been losing. 
ever yeah. since. Maybe he didn't get his title. What if all. this opens with Creed? Why are you? What are you, what are you doing? I mean, that was you lost that one by quite a close margin, but the rest have been very, very <laughs> distant margins. You are getting pulped out there, mate. This is not good. <laughs> I think you fluked that narrow loss last time. <laughs> You're bad at boxing, mate. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> is he the only Australian reporter in the yeah. pit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he was his coach. That was the coach. <laughs> was the co- his coach is Rocky. Oh, he's got a new coach. He's got a new coach. <laughs> okay. He's Australian and he's incredulous. <laughs> what are you, what are you, what are you doing, what are you mate? Doing, mate? <laughs> what were you doing before this? Maybe go back to that. <laughs> What was he doing? I can't remember. Just boxing, I think. Yeah, he's just yeah, boxing. He was yeah. just always boxing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that character a lot. He's good. Maybe he'll be back one day. I hope so. But no, I... Oh, no, I've fallen down. Well, I'm dead now. <laughs> he won't be coming back. He won't dead. be coming back. No. He's a new Mickey. But no, I think this could be really great. Mm-hmm. And all the Rocky movies, except five, which I haven't seen, are pretty good in general. I agree, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, why not? Here's something which I think could shape up to be good, though I shouldn't get my hopes up because... We've been burned four times or three times leading up to this. Oh, what is this? Uh, Linda Hamilton's been spotted on set of Terminator oh, 6. Great. With Sarah Connor. You've uh, seen those pictures? No. Dude, she looks great. Dude? It looks, it looks amazing. All right, okay. From these, you know, these All right, going back to the well. Images. Here we go. Here we go. Hamilton. Hamilton. Terminator. Judge. Six. Here we go. Here we bloody go. What you been doing? Nothing. Really? She's rich. She had a divorce settlement from um, James Cameron. James Cameron. She got fifty million bucks or whatever. All oh, right, okay. Well, Plus everything else that she would have gotten just from working and being a, yeah, an yeah. actor and things. She did Dante's Peak. Oh yeah, good point. You know yeah, what I, mean? she, I think she got a lot of money for Terminator Two as well. Okay, she's wearing that body armor. Okay, that yeah. looks pretty good. All right. I mean, you know what I like as well? She's aged like a normal human, like woman. a normal human <laughs> being, exactly. But it's aged though, and she's still terrified that the robots are going to come and get her. Yeah, right. Like she's kept in shape. She's actually in Terminator Four. She does a voiceover at the start. Oh. There's also some photos of her, like when she's not filming, and she's just having a dart. And I'm like, that's great. <laughs> yeah. 61. I mean, don't smoke, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just. But if you do, punch those darts. Punch those bloody darts. Got, okay, she's got some body. What, what can we surmise from this? I think, okay, my understanding of the premise is that it's. First of all, yeah, so it's a sequel, it's a direct sequel to the second, ignoring everything else, because every Terminator film... Even Genesis. Even Genesis. Wow. I know, because she's dead. She, she, she's dead in the new continuity. Because each of the new Terminator films after Terminator 2 were meant to kick off a trilogy. It's a yeah, trilogy of films true. that tried to kick off a trilogy. Yeah. And they've all got a different John Connor. It's absolute insanity. Yeah. But though I watched some of Genesis the other day, it's okay. I think, look, I think Genesis... Had a great idea, yeah, but a rotten execution, uh, yeah, I and it agree. had a rotten, and it opens well, and, a, and it had a rotten reveal, yeah, of who the bad guy was mm. in it. And I think if they'd if they'd let that lie, and we'd been surprised by it in the theaters, yeah. And I mean, a lot of that. There's the bit where somebody can see their future through the time stream, yeah. or whatever, or change, or grab yeah. their fu- future self, whatever <laughs> it was, or their past self. Yeah. But I love the idea in Terminator Six of. The time stream is just ruined now, yeah. and people, are, good guys and bad guys, have just gone back so many times yeah. that it's just a mess. And you know, Kyle Reese goes back expecting mm. to find like Val- Kyle Reese. What are you doing, what mate? You you've doing? already you've already been through time. I've done what this, you- mate. What were you doing before this? You should be doing, you should be doing that. <laughs> oh my god, he he didn't fall into a well. He fell through the time stream. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I love the idea. I love the idea that he expected her to be like helpless Valley Girl, yeah. and then she was. She'd been already rescued by another Terminator in the seventies, yeah. and was now a you know a, a badass. Not well cast though. No, I, I, yeah, I mean, I didn't think she was a good. I mean, you compare her to Linda Hamilton. She's got the look, uh, but she's very tiny. Yeah. She's like five foot four or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So five foot one maybe. maybe yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, it was just rotten execution. Yeah. I love the idea that it might just become. All right, here's another trip through time. What's gonna? What are we gonna end up with now? Yeah, you know, kind of thing. But this one, so this is a too sequel shiny to, as well. Yeah, the new one, too so shiny. but I mean, if this is a sequel to Terminator Two, yeah, is it set now? Yes, I assume. So, so. is this one in which Judgment Day in 1997 was averted? Potentially, yeah, or okay, delayed right. at the very least. Delayed. Okay, what right. we do know about it is there's going to be a young Arnold and an old Arnold, and old Arnold is the template for the Terminator. So they're going with that, which they kind of hinted at in Terminator Three, in like a like a cutout scene. Also, there's going to be Human Arnold. Human Arnold, yeah, presumably okay. some kind of 
general in the future or something. Okay, not General Candy or whatever he was. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> Sergeant that's I mean. Candy. I assume not. Well, that's okay. not even in the Terminator continuity that's of that canon. universe. That wasn't also canon. Uh-huh. But I, I shouldn't get my hopes up. But no. Every time I hear something about this, I'm like, oh, maybe. Yeah. That might be good. This is about when a franchise gets good again. Mm, if it does. Five, normally. Five. Well, that's, so we well, that's a miss. Yeah, but You're maybe, a movie late, but we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it if it's good. Mm. What else we got here? Uh, Tom Holland has just revealed the name of uh, the new Spider-Man movie. It's called Spider-Man Far From Home. I don't like it, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Tom Holland, what are you doing, mate? Well, he did, what are you did, doing did you revealing the, the title early, mate? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? <laughs> You're going to get so much trouble. The boss is at Marvel, mate. What are you thinking? Just keep your mouth shut and learn your lines, mate. I like how he's just actively discouraging people just across the universe. Yep. Whatever you're up to. What are you doing? No, come on. You're on a good thing, mate. You're on a good wicket. Yes. You're Australian references in there as don't, well. Don't jeopardise your, oh, jeopardise your job, mate. Look, I'm not pissing in your pocket, mate. I just need you to get it together. Oh, gee. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Just trying my best. I'm just... <laughs> oh, this isn't a good show anymore, is it? <laughs> it's really what, what, what we do here? What are we doing? <laughs> Some would argue it's never been a good show. Yeah, that's probably true. Mm-hmm. But he did... It wasn't one of those fake accidental revealed, like, reveals yeah, like he right. held up the script or uh-huh. on his iPad. And it, mm-hmm. I don't like the title. Apparently it's set in London, some of this or whatever. And Okay. Hey, whatever. Um, I good. was going to say, how would he get his costume through customs? But it, we're in a world where Tony Stark can just launch it in a rocket yeah. across a continent. So. Exactly. Also, you think the new one doesn't have anything in it anyway, so I'd probably just you could probably just get it through. Put it, yeah, exactly. Anyway. That's yeah. probably true. Yeah. Yeah, which I think is right. Looking looking at the Avengers. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, also, there's a Silk movie. It looks like in the works at uh, Sony. Another spinoff of their new Spider-Man. Okay. Universe. This this is the latest in their soon to be cancelled <laughs> Spider-Man spinoffs. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm listening. They cancelled Silver and Black, didn't they? Yeah, they if did. That yeah. was ever announced. Uh, what's Silk again? Doesn't she got she got she's got all of Spider Man's powers? Or I, something? I'm very vague on Silk. Yeah, I think her costume is made of webbing. Is that oh, very good? I know makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What she makes a new one every time? I think so. Mm. Going back to the well. Here we go. I remember on um, bloody Beyond Tomorrow or Beyond Two Thousand that Australian show that was yes. about the future, but was it was always about a car that turned into a boat, as yep. we've talked about before. Uh-huh. And one of the things they showed was the future of clothing is spray-on clothing. So you know how sometimes clothing is a little bit baggy. Imagine if you sprayed on a skin-tight shirt. Yeah, that's fucking great. Yep. Imagine that. They, they put it on like Matt Shervington. That's awesome if you're Olympic runner Matt Shervington who has 3% body fat. Uh-huh. But what about anybody else in the world? Mm. Anyway, it just looked horrendous. And then at the end of the day, you, you'd peel it off and throw it in the bin. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, that's the worst idea of anything ever. Okay, so Silk's abilities were gained. She was bitten same by the... Same spider or something? Same spider as Peter Parker. So died. before it died. Mm. Yeah, before it died. Okay, so she has... Wait, yes. as... In the same, like, directly after it Immediately happened. afterwards. And then she just lay low for uh, a decade. Let's see. She's unable to control her powers. Oh, no. Uh, and she's... Okay, and then she, after six years training to use her powers, she's locked up to protect her, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Look at... It basically, it looks like she's been in... She was in training for six years. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and she has... Unlike original recipe Peter Parker, she has organic web shooters ah. as opposed to mechanical web shooters. Well, this is a character that must have been invented around the time of the new movie. 2014. That's, a new, that's that newer character? Yep. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. Well, now we're all up to date. She's also Korean-American, so there we go. There you bloody go. Are we ready for another casting contro- controversy when they make her white? I'm always ready for that, Mason. Mm-hmm. I'm constantly bracing myself. Yeah. No, I think they'd actually go with that now. I. They should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they make this movie, which they won't. <laughs> they will not. Uh, Disney are, have upped Comcast's $65 billion all-cash bid to mm-hmm. buy all the Fox properties. Yes. Including the crap stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, they've now, their bid is $71.3 billion and $38 per share in cash and stock. Mm. Whatever that means. But if you're unhappy with this... Uh... There's a fan out there who's doing a remake the f- remake Fox Marvel's bid for Fox's properties, and if they can they've just they've got a backer already. If they, they've got they've got a backer who will meet. They, they're going to get fifty billion dollars, and their backer will give the other fifty billion dollars, making a hundred billion dollars, and then you can make whatever can, silver and black you, silk Spider-Man. No, movies that's you a want. Sony thing. 
That's a different oh, property. Yeah, okay. You can make as many X Men Banshee oh, movies as you want. So good. As many as you need. So good. I'm I'm in two minds about where this should go. Yes. I mean, I, with Disney, it's in good hands in terms of creatively, potentially, mm, but yeah. also it's a lot for one studio. And also, I don't really like Comcast either. No, exactly. Comcast so are the worst. It's it's, it's lose lose. <laughs> they seem <laughs> again. Even though we are outside the grip of Comcast, mm. because we are not subject to their internet service, everybody I know in America who has Comcast or any Hates. any association associated with them is like they are the worst yeah, company in the world. Exactly. And so, yeah. Well, like technically, EA was r- voted worst company in the world. <laughs> was it? There they, you go. They, I think they won two years in a row. Oh, congratulations, EA. Yeah. Look, I don't think that's objectively true, but it shows yeah. how much people hate EA. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I don't yeah. know. I'm in two minds about. I think to keep everything away from Comcast. Yep. But this is all it, about streaming. Yeah. This is all yeah, about yeah. control. And I, and I also content, think I imagine man. what is going to happen is that Disney are going to sell off. Like once they get all of Fox's entertainment properties, they're going to sell a lot of them off again. You think? I think they're just going to because they have to like. Hang on, I'm just going to adjust it. Hello, dog. Sitting on my weird wallet. Anyway, it's a weird wallet. It's a weird wallet. Listen. Uh, you listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think well because I don't think they want everything. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to be and, I, and you have to buy it all as a lot. I yeah. assume. And I think they're just going to buy most. Of, they're going to buy the whole thing and then sell off what they're not going to use. That's so, very possible. Yeah. I think merchandise alone they might keep it. Yeah. And then a lot of this stuff will go will go to streaming services. And yeah, maybe right. they'll just be like, well, Aliens is now a, a streaming service show. It's not a. a yeah. Whatever. Right. Uh huh. I think they're going to make a whole bunch of separate smaller divisions. Yeah, and then just own everything. Fox Searchlight is a yeah, is, the, is good producing some indie stuff. Indie which, darling stuff. Indie Can darling you name stuff? one? No, I can't. not off the top of my head. No, probably one about a sad dad. He's sad looking, dad. Yeah, he's looking after his sister's kid because his sister died or something, mm. but he just wants to build boats or something. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. Depressed boat builder. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, it's really yeah. Ryan Felipe's in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> he's okay. back. He's back. Sideways. There's a fox. I've like never film. seen it. It's good. I bet it's not. It's got sa- the Sandman in it. I know the Sandman. It's got the other one, right? The Rhino in it. It's got two great yeah, Spider-Man villains. 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 The best uh, ones. Three billboards. You've seen three billboards. I like three. Oh I did and I did it. Okay. I've been two minds about it. What did you think? That well, that's good. It make you think. It made I, me think. Do I like this? Yeah, all right. That's what I thought. Yeah. I liked it because it felt like just a slice of life. Of like a bunch of awful people, mm. and I don't think it had to be any more than that. I just yeah. think it was kind of he is. But it takes a turn at one point, which I didn't fully think was earned. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. not going to talk right. about it, here, but okay. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil three buildings. Okay, right. But yeah. Uh huh. Mm. All, right. All right. I think I like the first three quarters more than okay the rest of it. Yeah. Right. Anyway, should we do the next ad and Let's then talk the about next- Jurassic World? How many kingdoms are there yes. that are yeah. falling down? Yes. Mason, audiobooks are a great sidekick for summer activities. I'm talking hiking. I'm talking sunbathing. I'm, I'm talking beach. I'm talking running. I'm talking road tripping. I'm turn- talking enjoying downtime outdoors and more. I'm talking a barbecue where you're on the bloody tongs and you don't want to talk to anybody, so you put an audiobook in. <laughs> so you've invited people around for a barbecue. Correct. I'm on the tongs. <laughs> you're on the tongs. Yes. But you just want to listen to an audiobook. That's correct. I understand that, Mason. Yeah. Because listening, I find... And when somebody's like, hey, mate, can you put on some more, some more chops? I'm like, no. Hey, how about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> exactly. I've been to your barbecue. I'm listening to an audio book. <laughs> uh, hey, somebody's fallen in the pool. Shut up. Shut up. I'm listening to an audio book. <laughs> listening, though, is a better way to binge content. Outdoor find... concerts. I'm there. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching I'm, I'm watching Sublime. That's right. I get to the big chorus in what I got, and I'm like, shut up. I'm listening to an audio book. <laughs> Sublime still around? I don't know if they are. I don't, I'm sure they are. All right. Uh, but I find they're really good because to actually physically sit down and read something, Yep. I, I often don't have the time to do that. So if I'm driving or running or do, going anywhere. or Barbecuing. Barbecuing. Say, You're on the tongs. If I'm yelling at my guests, I'm on you the tongs. You know how difficult it is to be on the tongs yeah. and also turning the pages of a book? It's really hard. So difficult. That's what you used to do. Yeah. Like a savage. Exactly. Yeah. Audible, though, have the largest selection of audio books on the planet. Which lets you fill your summer or winter, we're in winter, with stories like, and I thought, hey, what better book to tie into our episode this week than the original Jurassic Park book by Michael Crichton, Mm. which I maintain to this day is still a great 
book. I, yeah. I love the first uh, the first one and the second one, The Lost World as well. Mm-hmm. It's a really interesting kind of slice of life for kind of where DNA <laughs> technology was at that point in yeah, time. Yeah, right. And Unix systems. And Unix system almost I'd be certainly. interested to, because I haven't listened to it. We, so we got Jurassic Park, Michael Crichton, 15 hours, nine minutes, mm-hmm. right? Uh, narrated by Scott Brick. That'd be longer, okay. Yeah. But also, but in if you've read the original Jurassic Park, there's a lot of bits where it's just displays of what is happening on the Unix yes. screen. So I'm, I'm, I'd be really interested how to see how, they, how they're describing it in the book. Well, I remember skipping those as a kid when I read it the yep. first time. Uh-huh. So I don't think they'd probably include them. They'd just be like, and then there's a page of Unix stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> just yeah. take my word for it. Yeah. You don't need to know any of it. Yeah. Or maybe they readapt. Maybe they've since re-edited it so it's more like the movie. Okay, sure. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm hacking into the Matrix I'm or getting whatever. into the Matrix files. Oh, they've got a whole bunch of Michael Crichton on here. Yeah, yeah. They've got Sphere. Oh, yeah. They've I've got never read Prey, that. which is about the swarm of killer nanobots. I have read that one. I like yeah. that one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Congo. Congo. Do you, do you like Apes and Lasers? I can't heartily recommend Congo. I haven't read it, but I've only seen the movie. But I did like the bit where they cut up a bunch of apes with lasers. At the yeah, end. yeah, that was great stuff. <laughs> with a diamond Ooh, Andromeda gun. Strain is on there. Okay, okay. good stuff. He's got the new one uh, about dragons or something. Well, he's dead. He's the, the, so there dead. There's one. There's a new oh, one. Oh man, he he produced some great pirate latitudes. What's that about? Anyway, it's mostly about stealing graph paper. Oh, nice. But, it's worth uh, a lot on the black market. You better believe it is, Mason. Mm. Audible also helps you listen to books by letting you switch seam- seamlessly between devices. Does it help you switch semen? You can edit that out. <laughs> Picking up exactly where you left off, uh, whether it's on your phone, through your car, from a tablet, or on Amazon Echo, you can get through a ton of books hands-free and eyes-free whilst doing almost anything. I love that, how it can switch between that is devices. The, that is great. It remembers where you are. Yeah, So if you right. want to get back to reading, you want to get back to the audiobook. You're on the tongs, you're not on the tongs. You know what I mean? It's up to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Audible members get a credit every month, good for any audiobook in their store, regardless of price, an unused credit also rolls over to the next month. So you don't lose that. Exactly, can, which is, hold on yeah, to that's it. great. Yeah. So if you're like, oh, I can't, see. I mean, you, you, I always find something good. Mm. But if you don't, yeah, you don't lose it. You can just, and then maybe you see two books next next month. Exactly. You get them. You also, get if you them. don't like an audio book, you can exchange it, which is great. Yeah. That's really good, yeah. Plus also, uh, your books are yours to keep, which is good. They're yours forever. Mm. Yeah. Uh, with Audible, so you can go back and re-listen any time, even cancel your membership also at any time. Start a 30-day trial and get your first audio book for free, mm-hmm. go to audible.com slash planet or text planet to 500, 500 You can do it with audiobooks. Is that the slogan? That's what it says. I love it. I have to say it all again, though. Okay. Start a 30-day trial and your first audiobook is free. Go to audible.com slash planet or text planet to 500, 500 You can do it with audiobooks. I consciously made a decision not to do it in that... Adam Sandler movie voice. Of- oh, Michael Crichton, Great Train Robbery. Get that one. Whoa, that's a good one. Mason, Jurassic World f- f- Fallen Off Kingdom. Yes. It's a movie. It's in cinemas the world over. It took us bloody time getting here, didn't it, mate? I'll tell you that much. Did it? Yeah, it came out in England like two weeks ago. Did it really? Yeah, remember we were considering flying over for the premiere, for the world premiere? They yeah, but we, we insisted on first class. Correct. And Claire was not, like, I'm not paying $10,000 a ticket. And we said, you will pay for that, Claire. And then she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> also, we and there was nothing more we could do. <laughs> yeah, and we weren't really advised. No, no. None of that story is true. None of it. Just to clarify. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's doing really well. Domestically in the US, it looks like it's going to hit $144 million over the weekend. They estimated between 130 to 140 a million, so a little bit above that. And worldwide, the total so far is $524.7 million. What we're going to do as we do every episode, there's a few spoilers in here that haven't been revealed in the trailers. Uh, but <laughs> Very they, few, but all right. If they have been revealed in the trailers, trailers, we'll probably talk about them in the non-spoiler section because that shit's been out there for like a year. Mm-hmm. But uh, And then we'll go into spoilers, but it's all time-coded below. But if you really don't want to know anything... You could you could probably skip this. Skip this. Uh, yeah. Skip what we're reading. Skip, skip the letters segment. Skip, skip the next movie. week episode because we're definitely going to spoil something <laughs> yeah. from this episode in this because we'll just forget that we talk about Absolutely this on a podcast we and yeah. we'll just have a conversation. Look, my memory isn't what it used to be, Mason. I'm not going to lie, but I know yours is in terms of what you think the story was. Oh, you got me. <laughs> you look genuinely surprised. I know. <laughs> you, you looked rattled. Yes. <laughs> like a man talking to you while you're trying to listen to an audio book while, oh, while on, I'm the, on the, tongs. the tongs. Yeah. God damn. What do you got? Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. 
Because oftentimes, a little bit of a peek behind the curtain, I'm not actually rattled when you ask me what the story <laughs> yeah. was. Because we've done it so many times that yeah. I am actually am aware. But this time, you bloody got me. So, uh, okay. So, it's it's shortly after the events of yeah, the original like Jurassic three. World. It's the real time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and uh, after the event, they've, they've shut down the park, obviously. There's been a massive uh, group lawsuit. What do you yep. call that? Uh, uh, Graw suit. A graw suit. Thank yeah. you. Uh and a Tim McGraw suit because no, it's so uh, much a class money. action. There's been a class action Very lawsuit good. that's cost them eight hundred million dollars or something like that. Because which of all... isn't that much. It's not that much considering... considering there were thousands of people there and they were all killed by dinosaurs. Well, so I'd imagine InGen are like Disney. Eight hundred million dollars is nothing to them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Keep going. Or is it though? No, not for that far. Because this movie, this movie we're about to watch is about. I feel. I feel the plot of this hinges on the bad guys doing something that if InGen were doing anyway, yeah. they'd have a lot more money, but it doesn't seem like they were doing that. Who, yeah. We'll talk about it in spoilers, we'll but about spoilers, I don't yeah. know if they do. I think they I think InGen are literally maybe they're just like They're like Kodak. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe they're like flu vaccines but also dinosaurs. Like okay. dinosaurs yeah, is like I know their, he does do I think other I think stuff. they're like they they're like stuff. a fun like this is their fun side project. Like it's sure we make Landmines, but we also make clone dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you're right. It's probably not that much money. Mm. Anyway, uh, so they're shutting the they've shut the park down, but there's a bloody a, a, a newly active reacted volcano on 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 the Isla Nublar. Correct. And uh, and it's going to explode and kill all the dinosaurs. So who's going to get the dinosaurs off? Or should they get the dinosaurs? Should they even should get they the just dinosaurs? Let them, go extinct? let them die. Yeah. Uh, they probably should have. But they don't. Yep. So, uh, I didn't like this. Didn't you? I didn't think it was very good. I quite liked it. What are you talking about? It was a fun thrill ride. It was not a fun thrill ride. Yes, it it was. was. It was derivative and there were some flashes of good stuff in it. But derivative of what? Previous movies. Previous all movies or previous Jurassic Park movies? Mostly Jurassic movies. I know you haven't seen it or if you have it a long time ago. You should watch The Lost World. Because if you like this, you should watch The Lost World. Is it much the same? No, it's The Lost World is a better film. But that's what I'm saying. Is it is it set is it set in a mansion? There's a lot there's actually a lot of similarities because The Lost World is also about getting dinosaurs off the island for yeah, right. profit or whatever. Okay. But not for not to bloody Give them guns or whatever they're planning yeah. on doing. Uh, well, that's the thing. Maybe because it's a, I haven't seen all the other ones. Yeah. That I'm not sick of the tropes yet. Yeah, but that's the thing. I'm not sick of the tropes or the dinosaurs. But this was, this is, and I look. To be fair, I didn't hate it, mm-hmm. but I think this is the worst one. Really? By a fair margin. Yeah. Worse than three. Yes. Worse than. Three. Nice. And the Back yourself. One. That was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many nonsense. And I think because it's broken up into two parts. Yes. Like your dinosaur island stuff and spooky dinosaur mansion. I don't think either of them are particularly effective. Okay. I thought Dinosaur Island was way better than Dinosaur yeah, Mansion. Yeah, I'd agree with that too. Yeah. Well, wow, that sounds like a I series s- of video games. <laughs> but I think that, I think for me, uh, the Dinosaur Island stuff was fun enough. To, to overcome the fact that it was kind of cliche and... Yeah. No, that was probably my favourite part. And I thought it was going to be the other way around. Yeah, right. I thought it was... Oh, when we see the new stuff... You were like, oh, Dinosaur Mansion's going to be fun. Yeah, but it was it was kind of not. And he's, yeah, right. This guy's got a horror directing background. And the movies of his that I've seen, I like, like The Impossible, which actor as Tom Holland is a little boy. Hello. Ewan McGregor's his father. It's good. It's about a tsunami. Father. Yeah, it's good. Daddy. <laughs> you anyway. Should, you should watch it. It's really good. But uh, no, I just, I think it's also kind of highlighted the flaws with this, the new series more. Like it didn't kind of build off the last Jurassic World and make the characters more endearing or, or add anything new to the lore in terms of stuff we didn't really know from yep. the last movie. Because uh-huh. the big plan in this one, a lot of it is, we'll make the, the Indominus Rex again, but it can run down a corridor. Yes. You know, like it's not really a, you know, and then at the end. I thought I'll, it was scarier. Yeah, it's probably a scarier film, sure, because it's because it I can, thought that I meant the dinosaur and stuff. Yeah, is because scary. it can because it can open doors and stuff, like a wrap because it's small. Yeah, yeah. But I think I don't think it's a. I think I preferred the last one. Should have given it a hundred guns. That's just my it. opinion. Well, this we talked about that. I in, mean, this one did get. We were given another kind of. Uh, we're given an evil businessman. Yeah. We're given a uh, another dinosaur hunter. 
Yes. Who maybe may, what's his deal? What's going on there? What is his deal? What's he's, he's got? There's a, a th- and that there's a there's also a dinosaur hunter very similar to him in played played by Pete Pothwaite. Oh yes. In the Lost World, you should watch the Lost World. I'm not going to. No, you really should. If you liked this, you'll yeah. probably really like the Lost World. I think, and it's got it's it's maximum Goldblum. It's a Goldblum movie. I do like Goldblum. You should yeah. watch it. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, man. I like his Instagram. Yeah, and it's yeah, good. exactly. And it's not a perfect film, uh-huh. but it's better than this. I'd, I'd be interested to know what you think. Okay. What did you think about the Chris? Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's character, they're fine. Like, they're fine. Yeah. I think Bryce Dallas Howard's character's improved quite a lot. Yeah, shoot, yeah. Foot, footwear-wise, at least. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I like most of their interactions. I thought they were, they were pretty good. Yeah. Have they made his character dumber? I think maybe... They made him... Oh, mate, he's kind of dumb in the first one, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, maybe he's kind of dumb in the first he's one. He's so yeah. rugged. He's always out in the open, isn't he? Yeah. He's building a house. Mm-hmm. He's reloading a gun. Yeah. He's, he's touching lava with his bare hand. <laughs> that happened, didn't it? Yeah, maybe. I think it happened. All right. It definitely happened. Okay. Yeah, that bit I quite like, though, that scene. Yeah. Which we'll probably talk about more in spoilers. But, no, they're fine, but I don't think any of these new characters are iconic as the stuff that people introduced in the first one. And maybe it's because, you know, I saw those movies when they were kid, when I was kids, but those characters felt more like real people. And even the way the BD Wong developed feels more real than... Just like a cool guy who rides a motorcycle, who's good at everything. Okay. You're not talking about the side characters because we get uh, supporting characters. Yeah. We get a we get a paleo veterinarian, I guess, or a dinosaur yeah, like veterinarian, that, yeah. and, and we a get nerd. and a nerd. Exactly. <laughs> I quite like those guys. Yeah, they were fine. I didn't mind. He probably screamed a bit much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. But okay. I, I thought they were okay actually. But he gets them. less terrified as the movie progresses, sure. which I think. Is, but he's is, more comfortable indoors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I like those guys. I'm I'm sure they're trying to they'll they're gonna be they're gonna attempt to spin them. They're gonna they're gonna focus group those characters and see if they're popular sure. and then spin them off. It's weird they didn't bring back Jake Johnson in that role though. Yeah, right. Because mm-hmm. he's the park tech guy. It would make sense. But I didn't yeah. mind the new guy. I don't know his name, but I didn't mind either of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but then the villains were appropriately villainous. And there's kind of a it's not really a reveal, but there's a twist in terms of which one of them is a villain. Which yes. we'll talk about in spoilers, which was just like his whole demeanor changed. Yes, it his sure clothing did, yeah. changed. It's, yeah, okay. We'll talk about it later. Okay, I won't lie to you. I was in the toilet when that was happening. <laughs> okay, so... right. <laughs> no wonder you like this movie. Yeah, you right? had a great wee. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I didn't mind James Cromwell as uh, the other bloody the other Richard Attenborough. Correct. Or yes. Whatever. Uh-huh. It's a shame that. I think that role would have been really good for for Richard Attenborough. He died in 2014, uh-huh. and he wasn't acting a lot at the end. Yeah, you know they I could know. have gone who David Attenborough. Yeah, exactly. But a lot of that guy's backstory was me and Hammond built the park together. Where the fuck were you? I've never <laughs> even heard of you, mate. There's yeah, been right. five of these movies, uh-huh. and you're very old. You've been around for a lot of uh-huh. this. And the thing that you did to piss off Hammond that must have happened in 1998. Yep, because they separate for yeah, various. Uh-huh. We'll talk about in spoilers. Uh huh. But that, okay, I think I mean that's where well, you've been, Cromwell. Yeah, see, I don't think that that is a. I don't think that's an issue at no, all. You're right, because that's just retconning. Like yeah. that happens in comic books all the time. That yeah. happens in all the comic book movies. Just like, oh, we need another protagonist. Well, say so there was another guy on the team in the, yeah. in the 40s or whatever. Here he is. Well, the other right? thing that was... Because uh, the, the other movies are now... This movie confirms that they're all in continuity. So yeah, two right. and three. Uh-huh. And I've talk, I did an Easter egg video. That I talk about it there about the specific links. Because they reference moments okay, from right. those movies. Oh, was I going to say? I can't remember. Uh, so I was thinking at the start of this movie, why, why are they going to Dinosaur Explosion Island yes. when there's another island with all the dinosaurs... They're just roaming free. They could just go grab them because uh-huh. there's two islands. You, you're right. familiar with Site B, right? Yes, that's that, Jurassic, that, that's yeah, Lost World. That's where Lost World and Three is set. Uh-huh. But apparently, in the and this is in the official wiki and whatever, or I'm assuming comic books, they do go and get those dinosaurs and they put them in the park so they're not there anymore. Oh, so they emptied out the they yeah. emptied out Site B. Site B. Okay, yeah, right. Apparently, yeah. Uh-huh. So there you bloody go, mate. There we go. Yeah, but but again though, these movies. I still think if you hadn't seen those movies, it, it, well, as you haven't, it mm-hmm. doesn't really, it doesn't matter at all. No, you don't yeah, need to right. know any of that mm-hmm. regardless. That's just kind of on me. There's a little, the new little girl, because there's always got to be a, a fraidy cat kid. Yeah, she was good. Yeah, I, I think agree. the kids in all these movies, are, they normally cast them pretty well. Mm-hmm. And she was yeah. good. Yeah. Did you like the emphasis on animatronics over CGI? That there was a blend. And did you think it would the blend... Worked. For the I most think it part. did for the most part. Yeah, yeah. much better than because we recently rewatched Jurassic World for a, a commentary. commentary. Uh, and some of that stuff, some of the CGI was surprisingly bad in that. Yeah, and this this was much improved. I think. I think a lot of this is 
darker as well. Like, yeah, right. I mean, literal darkness mm-hmm. for a bunch of it. Yeah. yeah. But there is, like, they. I know they made a T-Rex for the bit where Chris Pratt's in the cage with it or whatever. It's uh-huh. in the trailer. And the, the main villain dinosaur, like, they made them. When they're all kind of... Stampeding together. The main villain dinosaur. Main they, villain dinosaur. I mean, they CGI'd the twirly mustache yeah, and the top hat works, and the monocle. Yeah. But when they're all kind of running, yep. it's like a bit of a stampede. Uh huh. It looks. It's obviously CGI. It doesn't look as good, I guess. But uh-huh. I think that, I think it's a better looking movie than the last one. Yeah, right. On the whole, mm-hmm. and Agreed. they did a good job of run down Jurassic World Park. Yeah, of they, return that's to true, that location. Yeah. It felt mm-hmm. the same. Yeah, which I quite liked. Yeah. Did you think the, the action sequences this? Were like they start big and then they get smaller. Yeah, right. Uh huh. Did you you said you like the island stuff more? Was that what you liked about it? Ah, uh, that is a good question. I'm great at you're great at everything. asking questions. That's right. You know but that you're not great oh, at answering oh, questions of your own. Oh no. Same question back at you. Uh, what did I even say? <laughs> See. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a scale issue. I think you know, yeah, you a can creativity have, thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I just, just love people running from stuff on islands. <laughs> sure. How good is it? That's why you loved Lost. Yeah. That's uh-huh. why you didn't. You jumped on board for all fifteen seasons or however yeah. long that show it for, right? No, I've never watched Lost. Mate, you're gonna love it I'm if you like people running from things on an island. island. No, but if you also I don't, love, wanna... I love people running from definitive things on islands. I was gonna say if you want, if you want to, you know, know what they are, run what they are. Then yeah, sometimes it's a polar bear, sometimes it's a cloud of smoke or something. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, but no, I, de- I I'm with you though. I and I, I don't think it was a scale thing. I think it was they were better designed, and you know, there's a bit where the raptor's helping them out because it's like a dog at this point. Basically, yeah, right. I kind of right. I like the way they elaborated on blue. And how it's, it's like got an, more empathy than another. It's some raptor. sort of genetic anomaly. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. which I quite liked. But I'm not sure I bought why they needed that one in particular. Like why that was the one that. Yeah, they were like, right, right, right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, you could have just. I mean, for what they needed, it you could have just used a hologram, probably. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's fine. Which they have. They they certainly so, do. Yeah. Yeah. Did any of the dinosaurs though in particular stand like out? Like smell a vision hologram. Oh, you put a dinosaur smell. Smellow hollow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did any of the dinosaurs stand out? Because well, I mean, we, that's what these are about. Yeah, I mean, we had the little the little ram dinosaur. Yeah. The, the name of which again, escapes you'd me. like the Lost World because there's there's oh, one in that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think these are deliberate throwbacks, or do you think nah, it's just, I just think there's people, there's a limited number people of know, tropes? People know six dinosaurs. People yeah, know right. the main ones, okay. and the ram one just makes it in. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Look, I'm a big fan of the ankylosaur, and that made an appearance. Sure. It's good. Enjoyed yeah, yeah. that. Mm. Uh, no spitties? No spitties, no. Mm. Yeah. Though, I think you, you hear one, apparently, oh, at the start. Oh, up. At the you see one hocking up a loogie? You, do, you know what I really liked, actually, yes. in this? I loved the opening sequence. It was good, wasn't it? It was Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yes. Like legit amaze balls, Mason. Mm. Oh, he's, he's gone with amaze balls. Can we slightly spoil it, I guess? Yeah, okay, why not? Okay, yeah. so this is a spoiler for the start. But basically, uh, some in gen peeps go back to the Jurassic World Island and they, they, their plan is to get into the Mosasaurus tank and yep. get the Indominus Rex bones so they can clone it. From the marrow, presumably, yeah. yeah. And they go in there and they're like, well, don't worry, everything, anything that could be in here is is probably, is almost certainly dead because it's been three years. Yep. It's not. It's very much alive. Yes. And so as that's kind of attacking them, I mean, they get the bone out. Uh, the T-Rex makes an appearance. Yes. And and is uh, what and it's all kind of comes to a head. And that I was thought great. that was like genuinely suspenseful. Yeah, yeah. I don't know any of these people, but I'm invested in yeah, like, I straight away, see him get yeah. away. Also, I want to see him get torn apart. That was, and that was cuz that's yeah. the thing. It was a there was a I think it was a well cast opening sequence. Yeah. Cuz it's characters you we've never been introduced to before ever, yeah. but you kind of you're like, oh, "I want this guy to live." Yeah. Oh, what about this guy? What's going on with these people yeah. kind of thing, you know? Mm. And it's it's any of them could have been a main character throughout the rest of the movie. Yeah, so right. you're like, who's going to who's gonna live and who's going to die in this? Yeah, exactly. Kind of thing. Also, that whole bit is spoiled in the trailer of what ends up happening. Oh, right. Okay. I'm not going to say it, but I was going to say, I, I think it kind of, it harkens back, Mason, if you don't mind oh, using, oh, here we go. using that. Harry Harkins is the back. opening. The opening of your the, favorite character. That's right. The original Jurassic Park has a similar sequence where they're, it's all a lot of kind of faceless people you don't know, and they, they're delivering a raptor into the pen. And it just goes nuts and kills one of them. And it's really tense and, you know, it's a, it's a great opening. And you don't really see what's going on, mm-hmm. but it's a great opening sequence. So it kind of reminded me of that. That being said, this is the worst one. This is the worst Jurassic Park movie. Disagree. We haven't seen all of them, Mason. I know. Here's a controversial opinion. Of the movies I've seen, oh, here we go. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, 
they're about the same. You are 100%. quality wise, they are oh. exactly the same. <laughs> no, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> Should we do spo- Tweet at me only if you agree. <laughs> Should we do spoilers? Yeah, let's do spoilers. I'm yeah. going to say best movie ever. I enjoyed this one. I Look, I don't hate any of these. Yep. So I guess it gets a best from me. But it, I'm, I was pretty disappointed with this. Yeah. Because you, you save your hate for the for one leg of Die Hard, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so uh-huh. just gear up for that. Wait, I think you'll save your... No, I meant me. Sa- yeah, I was yeah, talking yeah, about exactly, me. Exactly, yeah. 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 Okay, spoilers from here on out. Okay. What I thought was fascinating about this, so they get in... First of all, let's talk about the villain. So the villain is uh, he. He he's works one for... of the detectives from Hot Fuzz. Yes, he is. He uh-huh. works for James Cromwell. James uh-huh. Cromwell snatched him out of college and said, "I want you to run the kind of uh, the nice side of the company and all the the good business stuff." And, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Okay." But yeah, but you don't suspect it at the start because mm, he seems so nice. He's, got a, he's not wearing his horn rib glasses. Yep, he's got an right. open collar shirt. He's, he's very just crack cool. and wise. He's cool and casual. He's cool and, and he's, casual. He's self-deprecating. He's yeah. like, oh, I'm not young and cool anymore. <laughs> what happened to me? And then uh. someone flicked a switch in his head yep. because then he smothers James Cromwell to death. That's when I left. Okay, you yeah. left that scene. I heard about that afterwards. Yeah, right. And then there's a moment where... He's she. He meets Claire again uh, down. Oh my! God, I remember the name Claire. Yeah. The main character. He's got them locked up, and he's got horn rim glasses and a button up suit. And he's like, you know, you shouldn't trust anybody. That's not the dialogue. And she hits him in the face and breaks his glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. next scene, he's got another pair of glasses, oh. and that bothered me. He just has two of the same pair of glasses. I mean, I guess he does. He's rich, whatever. Yeah. But just so kind of, you could have just kept him. Maybe casual. he went to Specsavers. He might have gone two to two pairs savers. for one hundred ninety nine. Oh, no, sure, that seems reasonable, yeah. sure. But he's yeah. a very rich man. But just the whole... You don't he probably need... bought four pairs for $398. You don't need to visually represent that he's some button-down corporate fat cat. He could still be the loosey-goosey collar guy. Well, you know that's I, mean? I agree with that. I think it's it's weird It's weird to have a weird... It's weird to have a weird thing. But it's weird sure. to have a, such a drastic character left turn in the middle of a movie. There are, char- there are, there are movie villains... And it's, I guess it's more for comedic effect, but it should be more in in every movie. Yeah. Where if a character is a goofy good guy at the start, when they take the heel turn, they should be a goofy bad guy. You know what's a good example of that working? Yes. Paul Reisner in Aliens. Yeah, see, there we He's go. He's essentially the same character. You yeah. just learn a little bit more about it. And you hate it. And you hate it, yeah. yeah. And I think that could have... Here's the one I... Worked. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking... Um, you know what? It, it's, it's not the same thing, but uh, the villain in Solo. What's his face? Dryden. Mm-hmm. Paul Bettany. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. He's a lunatic throughout the whole thing, yeah. but like he's he's fun and goofy. I, yeah, that, that's he's a fun good and, example. He's, yeah. he's fun and goofy, and he's like, "Hey, we're just gonna do business." And then he's like, "But if we don't do business, I'm gonna murder I'm gonna you. Cut your face, cut off. your face <laughs> off." But he he maintains that he doesn't become he doesn't start out fun and charming and become a killer. He's always fun and charming and a killer yeah, throughout right. the whole thing. And I think that should be yeah. He's a cons- fun and like the reason that guy's like I just find it weird that he just turned it off. And maybe he's a psychopath and he yeah, can do right, that, uh-huh. but I just thought that was odd. I love how so they get in Toby Jones because his his speciality is auctioning stuff that you shouldn't auction to the to the mega rich and the mega now, evil. Now Toby Jones is uh he's a he's a little man. Yeah. And he's he was He's a Trim and Capote type. Yeah, he who was played him as such in a movie. He's a was he a psychopath in recently? Was it an episode of Sherlock? He might be in show, like I know he's an he's an evil version of Doctor Who in his head, the Matt Smith version. Oh, I see, right, right. And he's right. also in uh, well, he's Zola, obviously. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, you're not in Sherlock. He's like the. Oh, he's, he's like the, the head of a company. Yeah, he's the. Um, and he's like, I'm just a fun-loving guy, kind of thing. But he's the hospital he's, guy. Is that is based off Jimmy Savile? That that's fucking right. Creep. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Shit. I was yeah. going to say, well, that's not very realistic, but I guess it is if he's based on a real yeah. life <laughs> pedophile. So. Yeah. Okay. Good I'm stuff. So Glad Jimmy Savile is dead. Me too. Just a fucking terrible bloke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they get him in for the auction to auction the dinosaurs. And when they initially bring him in, he's like, well, I tell you what, I don't normally do auctions like this. I need to make it worth my time. It's a fucking dinosaur auction. You out of your mind? Just do it for the novelty just value do it. Are you, yeah. are you serious, just do, idiot? Just do it to be the same, just to do it to be in the same room as a whole bunch of dinosaurs. <laughs> I'd do it for free. And he ends up doing the, the dinosaur auction, which is the most ridiculous thing because they roll out your favorite bloody bad boy the ankylosaur the they're yeah. like you know what's good about the ankylosaur or whatever it's called it's like a tank except it's living oh is it can you put like 10 guys in it does it have a turret on can it can you put 100 guns on it <laughs> yeah, exactly no, you're, and, and absolute that's, nonsense that, well, I mean that's the through line but that's the thing like I think it's more what they because they, they, they say in this movie that selling the dinosaurs is just seed money so they can do other stuff mm. but I think 
this is really like this is just kind of P- this is a PT Barnum auction. Yeah. You are tricking these people into buying this stuff. Yeah. So you're like, how about $10 million for this? It's like a walking tank, but it's alive and it's a dinosaur. And they're like, great. And then they pay the money yeah. for it. And then they leave and they're like, oh man. I can't keep this anyway. This wouldn't be as, this isn't as good as a tank. <laughs> because a tank, you can just leave it in a storage facility for a year. Yeah. You leave a dinosaur in a storage facility for a year, it's a, it's dead. Exactly. It's a dead Unless dinosaur. you leave it in a big old fish tank and exactly, then it thrives. yeah. Yeah, I thought that was, yeah, yeah. And I, you could definitely read it like that as a con. And I guess all these... Separate companies were also doing their own genetic splicing and all that kind of shit, mm. which you know, which could yeah, possibly right. be it. But just the fact that you'd think that's a good thing to buy, and they roll out the Indoraptor, and they're like, you know, what's good about this? It can what, is, what do they say? It can take commands more acutely than a human being. Can it? <laughs> really? It can take. So I could say to that thing, "Hey, can you go get me uh, like a can of coke from the fridge? Could you do that for me? Also, yeah. don't murder me." Because yeah, you're a sure. murderous monster. Also, can you make it Diet Coke, which is behind <laughs> the regular Coke? So if you move the regular Coke just to the side and get a Diet Coke. Actually, can I get it in a glass? And I want yeah. three blocks of ice. So I can do that better than a human being can it. You know what that thing can do? At its best, you have to have a it gun. You can scream at a laser sight. <laughs> exactly. You put a laser sight on a person and it attacks that person yep. if it feels like it. Mm. That's the extent of it. I mean, I know they're like, this is a prototype. We need blue so it can teach it how to not to be a lunatic. Yeah. But... That is not a good investment. You buy that thing, you've lost yeah. your mind. If you've got a laser sight on someone, guess what? You can shoot that person. You can shoot that person from space. <laughs> yep. If you've got a laser sight on them, you need a dinosaur that's 20 feet from them to then attack yeah, them. Yeah, right. It's absolute fucking also, insanity. as soon as... And again, I did enjoy this movie, but it's really dumb. <laughs> Uh, also, if you're the opposition and you figure out that that's how they're doing it, just go to like a novelty store and buy a small laser pointer, exactly, and just a yeah. bigger one, yeah, and just be like, now it's now now it's killing you. <sighs> Absolute nonsense. But again, it's a prototype. It's a pro. Exactly, it, it's a prototype. But even even then, I don't think it would get much better than that. I mean, the Chris Pratt one barely doesn't eat everybody. That's what I'm <laughs> and saying. And that's, that's the what best I'm one. That's what I'm saying. I think this is a. This this isn't. It's it's a f- what they're trying to do is they're trying to monetize this thing before the bottom falls out of it. Yeah, okay. And that's why that's why bloody Donofrio on the first one's like we're gonna weaponize it. It's not gonna work. <laughs> but he just wants to make his money and get out. Yeah, that's the key. He's like, I'm gonna facil- facilitate this. I'm gonna make hundreds of millions of dollars, and then I'm gonna get out before all these guys are killed by their own dinosaurs, which is gonna happen. You know where the money is? It's in clone. It's it's in cloning dead people. Yeah. Which is what they end up doing, which I thought was an interesting twist. Yep. Until they don't do anything with it. Well, they don't, and they don't, and they can't, because other, then this becomes, then the Jurassic it's World. It's not Jurassic, is it? It's the sequel just becomes, hey, we can clone anybody now. It becomes, clone the, anybody it becomes the sixth day, yeah, which exactly. is a James Cromwell movie yeah. also, actually. Yeah. But I think the idea in, in this is that the secret of cloning humans dies with Cromwell. Yeah. Right. So I think. She's the only one. My my guess would be. Yeah, but that's useful. And also, he's, he's, he, these movies the aren't only, about useful. I know, but Cromwell's not the only one who knows. Oh, who else knows? Like the button down. Uh, you think he's a good guy, but he's actually a right. Nerd. But he but he doesn't know how it works. You don't need. You just need the blood. You don't like. So you need the Indoraptor bone or whatever. No, I mean the cloning of the girl. The process. I'm saying. I'm saying that process died with Cromwell. Okay. That he's the only one who perfected it, and he only did it once. And but did he? What do you mean? Well, it's weird because he said Hammond disagreed with what I was doing or whatever, but Hammond's been dead for 20 years in this universe. And that girl is, what, 10 maybe? So he must right. have been working on it prior. I okay. Right. It's weird that Hammond's like, this is the line. You've crossed a lot of lines, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's like, true. And I, I, that bit I also understand. Like, if you've lost a daughter, mm-hmm. that bit I understand. And I, and I am, mm. as a dad, Mason, you, ugh, you couldn't possibly ugh, understand. Ugh. <laughs> 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 But I think there's an interesting story there, and and also her her being a clone ends up leading to releasing the dinosaurs into the wild. Yes, which is setting up a hopefully more interesting movie where it's Planet of the Apes. But you it's think they're going to make another one? They they are. Oh, it's okay, happening. Right. Yeah. I mean, people have asked whether this is a game. That the game is on. Did you stay for the post credits? I left. I didn't. I stayed for the post credits. And what is it? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's oh, you know what it is. It's. A, you see some pteranodons, they're flying about, they fly onto like a, like a, some sort of communications tower or whatever, like a, like a high thing on the top of a building, pans down, 
Vegas baby. Vegas baby. And we see like the Bellagio, you know, that circle, that, that pool with the circles in it and yeah, the, right. the, the fountains. I've been there, I've traveled. You know what this is? Jurassic World Oceans crossover. <laughs> it's a heist and there's dinosaurs. What I want to see Daddy Ocean get dropped into the mouth of a Tyrannosaurus yes, Rex. That's how he dies. That's how he dies. This is a prequel to Ocean's 8. That makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. It's set, setting up an interesting story, but also I don't think there's enough of these get out. It's not like cane toads. Yeah. I think you could track these things down pretty quickly. Well, they all have RFID chips in them. Yeah, exactly. And also that T-Rex isn't bloody, isn't mating, is it? No. Because it's the only one. Well, that's the thing, because there doesn't seem to be mating pairs in this. No. Nah. But maybe they learn to like, maybe they, didn't they? They can reduce asexually. Yeah, see, can, that's, that's oh, I might be thinking of Godzilla 97. I think that, I think this happens in... I think it happens in Jurassic Park. No, in the well. first one, they can change sex. Yeah, that's, that's it. how it works. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I love that there's got a scene where BD Wong's like, "Okay, the dinosaurs are out. Let's let's wrap it up. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> this is all gone south again. Yeah. Let's go to another facility." Mm-hmm. What is his end game? <laughs> Good question, isn't it? But I think he just wants to build new species. Well, I think he's, he's doing just... a great job. Yeah, he really is. No, he sucks. He sucks at it. Put some guns on him, BD. Put some guns on him. I want Dino Riders, the movie. I think uh, also it's their fault that the dinosaurs all escaped. It really is, They yeah. shouldn't have done that. There's going to be a lot of deaths on their hands. Well, there is at the end of this movie. Yep. So they, they go to let him out and then they're like, you know what? It's probably best to let him die. And Bryce Dallas Howard is like, it's probably best to let him die because, you know, whatever. And then the clone kids are like, well, I'm a clone too and I'm going to let all these yeah, dinosaurs right. out. Uh-huh. And then it eats that man. So yeah, that's totally on them when dinosaurs eat people and run around the world. Yeah. And they should... I mean, the Mosasaurus isn't on them. That's uh, McGee's yeah. in, the, in the tank or whatever. That, that was their fault, but... So that escaped. Yeah, it got out. At the end, remember, it, went, it was in a big wave. It was yeah. in a big wave. And it was going to so eat Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, did they not... So presumably, they, they closed that gate not in time yeah. for it to escape. Okay. Seems, you saw it get out, though. You did saw you? it in a big wave. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. you, didn't, I didn't, you don't see it leave at the start of the no, you movie. Do. You do. You see you? it leave. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Carry did on. Did you go to the toilet then as well? Probably. I'm I, don't have anything, I don't have anything else to say about this. Do you have anything else to say? I don't think so, no. I got some, uh, some reviews here from people. Mm-hmm. They're very negative. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm not surprised, to be Some, honest. Uh, Chon John thought Jurassic World Kingdom that has fallen was the worst movie ever. The plot was predictable and the movie dragged on a bit too long. All I want to see is dinosaurs kill humans. Also, who do you think would win a fight between Jack-Jack and Superman? Superman, just throw him into space. I think Jack-Jack would adapt, but he would still win that fight based on... Yeah, what do you think? I think Superman. Especially if it's Henry Cavill, because he'd just snap his neck. Snap his neck so hard. <laughs> but does Jack-Jack have a neck? He's yeah. all like... He's mostly head and body. He's mostly head and body, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, official dickhead says, Just got back from the cinema. Here's my whole script of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's a real shot of poop. Two stars. Dennis Alonzo says, Saw Jurassic World 2 and have two major complaints about it. They essentially, uh, they essentially allowed at least a few thousand people to die and why would you have someone call the police on themselves? Yeah, yeah. That's a fair point. <laughs> uh, Nathan Cox says... I thought Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was great. Some of the jump scares even got me. There you go, Mason. There's a bloody positive yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, Final Ray says, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is not a very good Jurassic Park movie, but it's a good The Game Is On movie. I had no interest in seeing this film, but I'm interested in seeing the next one and what they will do with it. And Dylan says, Jurassic World 2 is an incomparable, incomprehensible mess. I don't think I've hated every minute of a movie this much since BBS. Oh, getting back to The Game Is On thing. Yes. I don't think it's a Game Is On movie because they... This has already made enough money to justify to have a sequel. A sequel. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Gear up, gear up. Every year we give a bunch of our Weekly Planet awards. I should they're just leave this in the description. They're worth episode. nothing. Yeah. But one of them is called "The Game Is On," which is the most we give to the most ham-fisted attempt to uh, build a franchise or set up a sequel. Yep. And look, Goldblum has gotten pretty close in the past. Did he win for um, Independence Day Resurgence? Might have. I think so. Yeah. yeah. But they're like, let's kick some alien ass. That's also a movie I would have set, would have wanted to see. Me well. too. Yeah. It's a shame that the rest of it was bad. Agreed. But I would have seen the sequel. That's a real oh, shame. Also, the bird dinosaurs get out at the end of Jurassic Park what? 3. And they get out at the end of Jurassic World, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, They've been out for whatever. ages. Keep going, sorry. Maybe this is a time shift. Vegas, baby. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they've been for Vegas for ages. Yeah. And then they like, then they go, then the good guys go to Vegas. They're like, guys, there's there's pteranodons. They've escaped, and they're gonna be in Vegas. And they're like, they've been in Vegas for years. They got a lounge act now. <laughs> and then the curtain opens, and there's a pteranodon in like a tuxedo. It's like yeah. Too. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Love it. Um, what are we talking about? I've forgotten. Yeah, but so the game is on. Yeah, so yeah. I yeah, I I know also like I feel I don't know, there's been a lot of these. Like to, for it yeah. to be for it for this to fail. Yeah. 
But I think Solo now, depending on... Like, we're not getting another Solo movie. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, th- that might be a big contender yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, depending on what, where they're going with that. But, I mean... I mean, Star Wars isn't going to yeah. stop, though, so it probably yeah. still doesn't I mean, count. I mean, this is still in contention, I feel, because you don't, you don't necessarily... I mean, it, it is very much like... What's gonna happen next? Yeah. So, but the other movies, if everyone. This could have been a flop. Yeah. Maybe not a flop, but it couldn't. It could have underperformed. I don't. Th- I don't think it's gonna do well second week necessarily. Yeah, right. uh-huh. yeah. But then again, I'm often wrong about everything. We're never wrong. But it's not gonna do as well as the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be diminishing returns. So even if this one does well, I think the third one, if it's about this good, it's not. Uh-huh. It's not a good sign. But if there's more Goldblum in the next one, they should be. It really, because all he does is bookend the movie. Yeah. I told you not to let all the dinosaurs out, but you did, and now you fucked it, idiots. <laughs> That's what he's basically there for. Yeah. He literally said, "Just kill, let them all die." Yeah, and he yeah. was right. He was right. What is he an ethicist? What's his? Ah, uh, he's a chaos theor- theologian. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> well, he's been riding that train for like 25 years, hasn't he? Mate, not a real job. <laughs> <laughs> he came up with some sort of. Cockamamie, what is his role? Mickey Mouse, doc- bloody, yeah. bloody snake oil profession. Twenty five <laughs> years ago, and he's just been wearing his smart suits and his bloody, bloody opening up his shirt. Oh, he's a mathematician. That's oh, right. Yeah, okay, right. And he specialises in chaos theory. Okay, or telling people that what they're doing. So is So he bad. made math sexy for a minute. He did. Yeah. And boy, did he. Uh, oh, next yeah. thing, no. Next segment. I don't know what else to say. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't think. What else are they? I'm just going through these things. No, 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 no. Also, no. okay, I, I didn't even buy that any of these people seemed to who wanted to save the dinosaurs really did. There's a bit where a baryonyx attacks them on the island. What's that one again? Uh, it's the snappy one in the lava. It's coming through the lava tunnel. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And they're just like slamming the door on its head. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> and sure. Like, that thing's gonna die. We'll see. That's that room's a... gonna fill up with lava. You know it's why? Because they're middle class, and that's what we do. Is we're like, <laughs> we want to save all these precious animals, but they we want to save the apes. And then you go there, you go, you visit an ape, and an ape's threatening to you. And you're like, kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them with a flazer. A flazer. Congo style. Yeah. A flazer. That's right. I was gonna say flamethrower, but then I thought I'd tie there. Either would work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What do you what do you call those again? The snappy ones. Uh, that was a baryonyx. I feel that was that's just as good as like an Indoraptor. It, it's about the same, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, bet it would the, still attack a laser. I mean, if you let it's that, like a cat yeah, chasing yeah, a laser, exactly. Pointer. You let that. It would certainly attack a man. <laughs> yes. Just if you're gonna, I mean, just just knock over. Just use the ankylosaur to knock over the front door, then send a couple of the snappy the ones in, <laughs> and that's it. You don't need to breed a new one. Yeah, or just shoot people from space, which yeah. is what you could also oh, do. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 All right, do you know what it's time for then? Is it time for what we read and what we're going to read? It is. Okay. Also, I'd love to know people's thoughts on ah, that. Oh. You know what? I That's thought it was like, I know. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Hey, come on. I had it ready to go. I was I? joking. Well, come on. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, people actually, people have thoughts on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'd love yeah. to hear more of them. Mm. Anyway. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? Ah, uh, what have I been watching? Uh, I've been watching uh, um, uh, Kimmy Schmidt. Been watching some Kimmy. Oh, is that good? I it's dropped good. off pretty early on on that. It's good. Hang on, I'm just going to check my Netflix queue to see what else I've been watching. There's a show on SBS on demand just called The Pizza Show, and Not they just go pizza? around. Sorry. Not fat pizza. No, it's, it's like a documentary series where they go around eating different pizzas. Cool. Let me tell you, I want a bloody pizza right now. I bet you do, mate. Yeah. I know you had a weird meatball pizza the other day. Mm. You've lost. Oh, your I've minds. been watching Luke. Ca- you know what? I've been watching Black Lightning. Yes. Which I've been enjoying. That's good, isn't it's, it? It's it's good. Um. It's a better than Arrow. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but it's not tied in with Arrow because <gasps> they've they've made points to say different universe. Why? So for now, yes, until they all step through a rift or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been watching Black Lightning, which I've been enjoying. I've been watching uh, Luke Cage. I you said you didn't mind it, yeah? I didn't mind it. I think the key for watching these Netflix series is, and it's amazing that it's taken me long to this long to figure it out. Yeah. Just don't you don't watch don't don't watch, don't watch them all of them yeah. over a weekend. Watch a couple. I think that's why I just stopped completely. Yeah. And yeah. I think maybe I think maybe they should be. I th- I think the the overall uh, perception of these shows would be a lot better now currently if they had released them week to week. I think yeah, people right. would be like, I cannot wait for the next episode. What's going to happen? They're so interchangeable though. I love yeah, those but episodes. I think but I th- but the fact that everybody 
you get them on a Friday and yeah. then everybody's like, I've got to watch them all by Monday because otherwise I'm not going to be caught up with everybody else. Yeah. Is killing them. Yeah, absolutely. Because I watched a couple and I'm like, well, this is fun and I'm not going to, I'm choosing not to watch any more yeah. and I'll watch some more later and it's, it's not destroying my brain. It's a shame that it's not like event television in the way that the Marvel movies are. I think it was initially. Yep. When these were starting, I couldn't watch these fast enough and it was, like it felt like an mcu movie was being yeah right. released but now it's just i couldn't even i can't bring myself to watch them and i that's all that the other thing is i am interested in each of the like i want to go back and watch punisher yep. i do want to finish jessica jones i want to see if luke Ca- uh luke cage has improved on the last season mm-hmm. which i thought was a bit flat yeah iron fist i might skip <laughs> regardless <laughs> but yeah i just think they should be more People should enjoy them more, right? People should enjoy them more, yeah. yeah I just think it's a bit of a shame. Yeah. But if we're talking Netflix, Mason, which I know you were. Yes. Uh, I watched Nanette. Oh, which is uh, Australian comedian Hannah Gadsby's yeah. stand-up special. Did from... you see that before? It I haven't on? seen it live, no. Yeah, right. And I was going to because she had a reprise of it like live, but then it was like, and she's doing it on Netflix. And yeah. I'm like, well, I'll just wait for I'll Netflix. I'll do that, yeah. But basically, it's an Australian comedian. Uh, she talks about her experience. I'll, actually, I won't spoil the specifics yeah. of it because it's kind of the point of the show. It's... It's not what you think it is, and I think it's also important to, to watch. Even uh-huh. if you don't necessarily agree with a lot of the stuff in this, which I'm sure a lot of people don't, uh-huh. but I think it's 100% worth listening, watching for a different perspective on things. Great. And, and it is funny too, yeah, but I think uh-huh. it's one of those things where you kind of walk away. It, it stays with you. Right. Uh, and I'm not going to say why, but I think it's just... And this is on Netflix worldwide. It's on Netflix worldwide, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of reluctant to spoil it. Yeah, Because I think it's definitely worth bloody leave it at that. And it's on Netflix, so it's yes, everybody's yeah, cool. got Netflix. Mm-hmm. They should. And if not, just ask me for my account and you, you can have it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> well, I'll give it to you. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you, sprung for, you sprung for four accounts, did you? I don't know. Ooh, I don't hello. think I did, actually. Oh, hello. All right. You sprung for standard definition. Big time. Nice. What's next, Mason? Do Letters. What, what letters, letters, we love you, some letters. They're, oh, no, hang on. That's, <laughs> no, wait sorry. a minute. That's a, Copyright <laughs> Planet Broadcasting. <laughs> hey, this is Will and Charlie from the podcast Tofop on the Planet Broadcasting Network. Will, how would you describe our show to people who haven't heard it before? Uh, I would say our show is much like a modern day version of Seinfeld in that it's a show about nothing, Charlie, and that some of the early episodes really are a bit dodgier than you remember. (laughs) So if that sounds good to you, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, and planetbroadcasting.com. The classic one was... Letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We know they're here right now. We're going to do letters. It is letters time. Yes. If you do want to reach the show, hashtag weeklyplanetpod on Twitter. We will find your tweet and we'll read it out. Yes. Maybe. Yes. I mean, probably, if it's a good one. Oh, if we just stumble across it, actually. It doesn't have to be good. <laughs> we just have to <laughs> see it. And also, Mason uh, is checking out the Gmail, weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. And there's a hundred letters in there, isn't there, Mason? Oh, come on. Yeah, there's more than a hundred. Okay, you're going to read any of them out today. Give me one minute. Are you reading an email or writing an I was, email? I was texting someone, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what's it on? Was... What's what's the hot goss? There's no goss, oh, all right? God. I, thought was, I thought that was hot goss. God, all right, here we go. Here we go. I saw, I saw one, a good one earlier. I saw the title of one earlier. It mm. looked pretty good. Okay, let's see. And it's, it's, it's a recurring theme, okay. which I enjoy. Here we go. This is from J.H. Winstead. Got in trouble at work listening to the pod. Yeah. I'm enjoying these a lot. Uh, he's a long-time listener. He works midnight to 6 a.m. delivering newspapers here in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina. Oh, that sounds like a good boy. job. I would enjoy doing that. Yeah, you love late, that kind of shit. I love late night. Yeah, you do. Nobody bothering me. And Down you could listen anything. to a podcast or That's an audio what he does. Book, booklet. Uh, he puts on us or do go on Steel Wars, Filthy Casuals, Hey Fam, up on Spotify. He Bluetooths it to his car speaker. Very good. And he cranks it. Nice. Uh, so a few nights ago, he pulls into a driveway, gets out of the car to pull the paper on the porch. It's 2 a.m., and he's away from the car when we start screaming out, Mad Ghosts! Mad Ghosts! <laughs> Mad Ghosts! <laughs> uh, the next night he has a complaint that they emailed in and it says, he pulled into my yard at 2am with his radio blasting these guys hollering about something and woke me up. <laughs> Keep up the good work, fellas. We will. Mm. We hope we didn't get you in trouble again just then for yelling. I out. hope we did. Oh, wow. I hope you hadn't learned your lesson. And it's happening again. Do you ever get in the car and you've got headphones on and you just leave them on? No. Yeah? It's legal. Is it? Yes. No, me neither then. I'm fairly confident it's illegal. What if you've got a hands-free, you're talking on the microphone to I think your that's... family? Wait, is, is it still wired headphones? Yeah. Do you have both of them in? No, one. 
I think so that's still illegal. A, no, it's not illegal. I think it is. Okay, you're, maybe you're right. right okay. P.S. He listened to the episode of I, uh, Do Go On that I was on about Mothman. Oh, yes. As a former stoner grubbing in the middle of nowhere, I saw a lot of strange critters, and I can say with some certainty, those kids who didn't want to get out of the car to investigate the lump were tripping balls. <laughs> so, yep. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I've got good a, stuff. Thank you, Jack. Great stuff. Mm-hmm. I've got a tweet here, Mason, from Ethan Gregory. I'm ready. It says, what do you think about uh, doing an episode on rumors about comic book movies that never came true, i.e. Coulson becoming the Vision, Bieber being Robin in BVS, Lex Luthor having a sleeve tattoo of Metropolis? I feel like that could still be true. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so good. I think that would be interesting to mm. go through kind of some Or it's a butt rumors. tattoo. Yeah. Metropolis. Left and right. Not following. That's, what about the middle? You forgot... Um... Oh, that's where the... Oh, maybe it's... Okay, it's Metropolis. <laughs> Very good. But that would be uneven. I wouldn't like that. You wouldn't like it? No, it'd be... No. So we're like... just going to make it a sleeve tattoo? Yeah, I guess. I bet he's still got a sleeve tattoo. Of his tattoo. butt. And yes. it says Metrop- <laughs> Metropolis. <laughs> but it, and there's a picture of his butt. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that would be good. I think maybe a, if there was a site that had like a list of those we could go through, would be great. Do you think it counts if it's rumours? Should it be rumours that... Uh, maybe were never true or rumours that were true and then didn't pan out. Like Josh Brolin went in for Batman, uh, but he didn't get it. I think we could do a combination. Let's do it all! Yes, let's do it all. Why? We do it. We've got unlimited time. We do it next week, who knows? Also, people want another Versus episode, so yeah. do that soon as well. If You know what if, so, if you know what would be great? Mm. If people could tweet at us maybe a new concept for Versus. I thought I liked, done, the, yep. I liked the last one we did. We, we, did, last time? we did the uh, We did the, the what-if scenarios. I can't think of a good one, but it was versus inters- interspersed with... Oh, ultimatums. Ultimatums. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so... All right. We'll do one of those pretty soon. Pretty then. soon, yeah. yeah. It'll be so very exciting. Let's do that. Yes. Uh, got another one from CHZ. I don't know how to say that. Chiz? Chiz. Anyway. Chiz. This is, this is random, and I'm not sure if it's been so asked. So random. <laughs> I'm not sure it's been asked, but you think, do you think the Justice League has a better chance of stopping Thanos from achieving his plan? Well, they got Superman. So yes, because he can do all the things. Uh huh. He's stronger than all of them combined. But he's so smug. He's very smug. I would just love him to see to see him turned into nothingness. Do you That'd think? So it, do you think having the Justice League would be an advantage? Do you think against Thanos? I mean, he can just belt the Hulk. You know, yeah, fairly yeah, easily. Yeah. He's impervious to magic and mo- on the most part, you know. No, I think the I think of the of the cinematic Justice League, the only person who has a, a chance against him is. Superman. Yeah. But I don't I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, right. They should either all have a pretty good chance. Yeah. Or nobody has a chance. Yeah. I don't like the idea. Again, and it's a it's a flaw to that movie that they've they've just bring in Superman and he'll fix everything. What's the point of the rest of them? Yeah. The whole point of the Justice League is they're all on it because they're the best at something. And even if one of them is taken out of commission, even the most powerful one. They've all still got a fighting chance. And the whole point of the Suicide Squad was to be able to take down Superman. Every single one of them. A crocodile man. A crocodile man with man. a rope. A Mr. woman Boomerangs. with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. All the great. guy's good with ropes. <laughs> and he's a rapist, probably. <laughs> yeah. Cut that out. I think that was that was the implication. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the cinematic version would... would... I'm so glad he's dead. Yeah, he should be dead. I'm glad yeah. his head exploded. But even if he, he wasn't, he still should be dead because he's useless. Yeah. This guy can climb anything. Like, right, like a rock climber, like Superman. <laughs> is he gonna? Th- oh, is he gonna shoot a grappling hook at Superman? Well, Superman can fly in his space, and then you're all gonna end up in space, and then you're gonna die. And good riddance, quite frankly, for the reasons I've mentioned earlier. Yeah, no, I don't think. What well, I like that. Uh, I actually watched the f- finale of Justice League on YouTube the other day. That fight with um, Steppenwolf, and you look at that and Thanos. They're night and day. Yeah, well, and again, both of us enjoyed Justice League to an extent. We did not. I didn't. I've not. I don't enjoy it on any level. <laughs> but they're not even close. And I don't like saying that because I like the DC characters. But mm. yeah, it's that Thanos fight is really good. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, should we wrap it up there? Or what Actually, else I have got? one more. I have one more letter. This okay. is from uh, Mario uh, Boni from Switzerland. Okay. Uh, Great chocolate and cheese. Yeah, and mountains. I know, right. Uh, so here's the question. How different do you think Hollywood would be in the MCU as opposed to our world? Would they still make right. superhero franchises, some of which succeed, most of which in stumble and fail? Or would it be seen as boring? Would there be a Tony Stark biopic one day? Uh, would Christopher Nolan make an Attack of the Chitauris movie that is good? 
That's like Dunkirk. Question. Yeah, right. Yeah. Isn't there a Tony Stark biopic in like a poster in the background of them? There might be. Uh, let me. Uh, let That's me a see. good question. There's a there's a Moon Knight comic book. Uh, in there which, is in which Moon Knight goes in which one of Moon Knight's personas goes to Hollywood to create a, a Moon Knight movie. I think right. Okay. Yeah. So I think it'd be a weird mix in Watchmen the the DC. Uh, Series and movies. I don't have to explain what Watchmen is. No, People please know. do. But in, did you in, read it? I've read. Oh no, no, no Doomsday Clock. No, oh, we can't do Watchmen. Watch we can't again. Do Watchmen watch. I'm catching up on stuff. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna read. Oh, you know what I read? I read. We're not in the segment anymore, but I read the first four volumes of Batman Rebirth. So the Tom King run. Good. It's really good. Okay. I just burned through it. I burned through like 600 pages. You would know. Really good. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. All right. What was I talking about? Oh uh, yeah. Go on. Sorry. Uh, Moon Knight. Something. Another thing, what did you say? Tony Stark biopic. Tony Stark biopic. I've actually found it out. That's why yeah. I've got it right in front of me. Okay, right. Tony Stark is, so it's a real thing in continuity. It's a poster in the background of Guardians 2 at a theater. Yeah. Tony Stark is an R-rated biopic of Tony Stark starring Simon Wilson, played by Nathan Fillion. So Simon Wilson is Wonder Man. Correct. Yeah. So in the, he in was the Marvel to be in Universe. Guardians 2. So in, Marvel Universe, in the Marvel Universe, uh, Simon Williams, Wonder Man is a superhero and an actor. Correct. So I guess he does like... I think he does superhero movies because he's got superpowers and he can just ah, okay. be like, you'd be a flying guy and he's like, well, I can fly. So, yeah. Oh, that's so- what I was going to say. So in, in the Watchmen universe, because superheroes exist, people are so bored by them. Yeah. That they, they, it's the, pirate comics. It's pirate comics. Yeah, right. yeah. Which it's That's one of the elements that has never really flown with me because I'm like... It's got a big squid in it. It does have a big squid. That's big true. That no, I like with you. Yeah, that, that was fine. <laughs> I love big squids. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this if, if people dr- people do dress as superheroes in the real world, but I still find superhero comics interesting. Yeah, I'd be more intrigued. I'd be like, what are their lives like? Do some comics about it. Absolutely. This mm. is the this is the uh, synopsis of uh, Tony Stark. It's basically Steve Jobs, Danny Boyle, Steve Jobs, the same yep. poster, mm-hmm. which is a good movie. Danny Boyle's a good director, isn't he? Sunshine. He's good. He's good. He's At some point on Earth, a uh, biopic based on the life of Tony Stark was written by David Frank and directed by Ian McFadden. It starred Simon Williams as Tony Stark alongside. Mary Livanos, I don't know who that is, Simon Becker and Dexter Mills, who might be also comic book characters that I'm not familiar <laughs> yes, with. Yes, correct. Yeah, Ian McFadden is a director and he directed The Comedy Company, The Genie from Down Under, The Wedge, Newlyweds, and Cluedo. Wait, who is this guy, sorry? The director of this fake Tony Stark movie. So he directed, I think that's a coincidence. Maybe. They could not have gone, you know, we'll, we'll get the director of 1980s Australian Sketch com- racist sketch comedy sh- <laughs> sketch comedy show The Comedy Company. He did the Doctor. It's a coincidence. What's but he the did the name? Doctor Who spin-off. What's the guy's name again? Ian McFadden. He I think it's a Do- coincidence. Doctor Who spin-off I think there's heaps of Ian McFadden. Oh, I know who Ian McFadden is. Yeah, he did the Australian TV series Prisoner. Yeah, this is a different Ian McFadden. One of McFadden's most memorable characters on the show, uh what the comedy company was David Ratten Rabbitborough. <laughs> If David Attenborough, I remember. An impersonation of a British David. Yeah, I remember David Rabbitborough. Ra- I don't remember any of the comedy company except for the racism. What about Carly Mole? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Con the Fruiterer. Yeah, that, the racism. I remember yeah. the racism. Uncle Arthur. I remember the racism. Okay, cool. Carry on then. <laughs> so what, how do you think it would be different, the, the, the MCU Hollywood? I think it would probably be more a glamorized version of what there is, which is weird because it's still a hyper glamorized universe. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. But it's also a universe where Star Wars exists and Pulp Fiction exists. Yes. And Chinese food exists. It's all on the little Ooh, typhoon. ACDC, all, ACDC exists. exists. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't Skippy be. Skippy that... the Bush Kangaroo exists. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't be that different. Why would. <laughs> you don't need to check out Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. It's on his list. Why? Why? Anyway, it's a local reference. A lo- they could have put Prisoner on there. They could have put the comedy company on there. But they there. couldn't. But that's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter. Captain America's not going to watch Skippy the Bush Which Kangaroo. No, you absolutely can, you can not. Abs- I've never seen it. No. And I'm fine. Yeah. I've never been beat up for it. Correct. So that's good. You've been threatened with violence. Yeah, it's not for required it. viewing. Yeah. If mm. anything, watch the one where the dingo eats the baby or whatever. Watch that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. What a world. Mm-hmm. Got anything else? That's about it, I think. Uh, Hang, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, go on. Uh, I don't know. I f- kind of feel like it'll be... You know how in like 30 Rock, yeah. it's a funny sitcom, but the show within a show is clearly really bad. Yes. I kind of feel like all the movies in the Marvel Universe would be like that. Yeah, they look like, like they'd they could be like, though, yeah. You know how in, in Ragnarok, there's a really cheap 
theatre performance of The Adventures of Thor, I feel like yes. MCU Hollywood would have really cheap and often libelous like versions of the like they'd be like here's this, here's the movie about the Chitauri invasion yeah and it'd right. be like a really sleazy version of Tony Stark and like a really like all their most stereotypical aspects I think it'd be oh, like I think it'd be like the movies we see but more one dimensional okay sure yeah mm. okay so yeah it's that fake movie with within a movie nonsense yes kind of thing mm-hmm. okay I get you you get it the other movies that uh, Simon Williams have done in this universe is Tony Stark he did Archon Hacks and Two Oh, Rebecca, Dead Before <laughs> Arrival, and Toxic Janitor 2. Love it. Which I assume is a nod to... To the Toxic Avenger, yeah. Yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Well, that makes sense because James Gunn is yeah, a trauma guy. That's dude, so yeah. good. I like that a lot. All right, before we wrap up the show, Mason, I just want to... Uh, we're thinking of doing a separate... Um, we've talked about this, an ad-free feed, but not on the, in addition to that. Also, we're not sure how they're running the ads at the start and the end of the show, how that's how we feel about that just as of yet. Mm-hmm. We're going to see how much money we get at the end of the month. <laughs> and if it's a million dollars... They're we'll here just, forever, baby. No, nah, we'll just stop making this. Oh, okay. That's a really good point, actually, because then we could just split a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we, but regardless... We we're, st- hope, we're hoping that we get enough to cover the server costs and yeah, the hosting exactly. costs and stuff that's like that. And because so. we also host pay for the hosting on, the, I think, all of the other Planet Broadcasting Yeah, so if it covers that, well, that, yeah. would be, that would be great. But basically, that... Uh, so we're thinking of doing an ad free fee, but also we're thinking of doing like a bonus thing yeah. for people also who, who, who might want to also chip in for, for a bit every month, kind of yeah, like right. Patreon. We don't know whether they're going to do a Patreon or build a separate platform or whatever, but if we would do that, what do people want? We're thinking of maybe doing an extended mailbag. Yeah. We clear out that mailbag, mailbag every bag, week yeah. or every month. Yeah. Or it could be, I don't know. It's up to you. What, what do you, what, what would it, it could be a different thing every week? Like uh, we were talking about and I said, maybe we could just talk about a different movie that's unrelated to. We could answer. Could be like, oh, we'll talk about Shawshank this week. Yeah, or talk about Shawshank. Yeah. We could, uh, we could do uh, every, you know, one one week we could do a quiz and we could figure out determine which uh, Sex in the City character we exactly, are. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we could even be. I'm could, Charlotte, obviously. Obviously, yeah, because yeah. you're boring. Yeah. But I think yeah. I'm also E from <laughs> Yes from uh, Entourage. Yeah, you. Yeah, I know you. You. You Donatello. You're all the boring ones. Yeah, all right. Correct. Yeah. Thank <laughs> but, you. Thank you. But. Uh, yeah, and it, maybe it could be a different thing every week where take the Marvel quiz or whatever and, you know, we just do the thing that we think would be fun that week. But if you've got suggestions uh, and if you'd be keen on that, just a little bit mm-hmm. of bloody bonus content, all this would stay the same. None of this would change. Yep. But yeah, if you're interested. That's the show though, Mason. Take us home. All right, if you want to... Country uh, road to, to the, the place I belong West, West Virginia, Virginia. Mountain Mama, is that what that is? Okay. take me, me home. home. Country Camp roads, Mason yeah. Podcast. Kingsman too. Ah, uh, not a good movie. And also a bunch of other movies last Correct. year. Also uh, Alien, oh, yeah. Alien, and also the, is it in the heist too? one. No, the heist one with um Kylo Ren and James Bond. Oh, Logan and Lucky. Tatum. Yeah, it's well, in that Logan as well. Lucky, yeah. yeah. Sorry, keep going. Uh, all right, if you want to contact the show, you where go- I belong to the place. <laughs> I'm lo- anyway, uh, Weekly Planet Pod on Facebook. And Gmail and Twitter and Bandcamp. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies. And where are you on Instagram? Mr. Sunday Graham. Okay, well, I'm Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. And on Instagram, I'm Nick Maso, N-I-C-K-M-A-S-E-A-U. Mm. I should just put that in my yes Twitter link. It doesn't matter. Probably. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can also go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group. Yes, yes, yes. On Facebook. It's very good. Yes, uh, yes, Nearly yes. 10,000 members. which that's is right, uh, And yeah. they're all very civil, which I enjoy. That's really great. So just keep it bloody civil and that's it. That's good stuff. Otherwise, uh, we're shutting it down, aren't we? Uh-oh. We've we got, we got our fingers really, over the button. It's really great. I really like for the For now. That's right. For now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, also, we're, we're, we're doing uh, extra episodes for for other shows on the network every Thursday. People have been really responding well to that, and yeah. uh, which has been great. Very so cool. we've got, I think we're doing Tofop this week. I great. Believe. Love yeah. those guys. So I keep going. Uh, let's see. We've got, uh, speaking of Bandcamp, we have the Jurassic World commentary. Yes. On Bandcamp currently. That's, that was a good one. That was, uh, I think, one of our weirdest. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What else? Um, we do Caravan of Garbage every week. Yeah, we do the Caravan of Garbage every yeah. week. Um, oh, we've got a bad one coming up this week, don't we? An we, Ant-Man yeah. one. Oh, that's so bad. Wait, which one? Oh, the one from the 60s? Yeah. yeah that's so bad. Don't spoil it, Mason. Right, it's very bad. Though. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to love it. Yeah, you will. We hated it, so you're going to love it. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you can follow at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. That's our friend Raw Collings. Correct. You can go to planetbroadcasting.com, sign up for our newsletter, which is also Raw Collings. Great right, stuff yeah. every week. Into your inbox. Love it. Heaps. 
Uh, let's see, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck if you please. Chuck in 100 bucks. You can also, oh, what? Chuck in 1,000 bucks. No, don't. That's no, too, don't. Much. That's too, much. too much. It is too much. I mean, if you, save your money. Maybe 1,000 bucks to us, $9,000 to remake The Last Jedi. Correct. Obviously, if you're going to be if you're going to be pledging, that's how you should break it down. Yeah. Uh, you can also click At least on you the... know where the money is going with us. Exactly. Nowhere. Just, dude, we're we're just hoarding it. Like, <laughs> we're hoarding it like weird little dragons. Uh, let's see. You can go to the uh, uh, Amazon affiliate link or an episode description if you want to buy some stuff. We get yep, a kickback. We do. Let's see what else. We've got some t-shirts on tpublic.com if you want to get the Mr. Sunday Movies I'm Fine t-shirt. That's right. That's not an official one, but I officially love it. Isn't it? It is official is one, it? isn't it? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, great. Yeah. Great. That's Fergal Quigley. Well, yeah, Fergal Quigley. Our, our yeah. pal from across the pond made that. Crushing it. Yeah. Um... This is most of the stuff. And that's most of the stuff. What's we talk other stuff? Yeah, just that's other it. things. Other it's things. Linked, there's other things. It's all on planetbroadcasting.com. It is, absolutely it is. Mm-hmm. And uh next week we'll do another uh episode. We can't do Ant Man, but we'll we will be seeing it this week. Nice. What can we do next week? I don't know. Something we else. We could just talk about the first Ant Man. Again. Want to do that. We should do a commentary for that actually. Okay, cool. I don't think I've only, I've only seen it once, so it's good. It's okay. It's improved. Like a fine wine. Okay. Let's Goodbye, everyone. (laughs) Grab that gem, you guys. We will see you next week. Goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.